that we came across some tents while traveling and those tents had um funny little man in it woodsman who then apparently was actually a not that um and as we were chilling with this guy um he was Ver he's actually the virgo right yeah um i no, just confused by his art because his it's art was like deadlock. your art looks like giant and then I uh, maybe just there's no scale there oh inventor okay cool um anyway yep yeah. so he um <laughs> Yeah, he was hiding himself, and uh, we, I was the only one who realized. And as we were having this kind of like greet conversation with this new person, uh, Mithril Inquisitors came upon us, and we tried to hide um, this new man, who we know is now, we now know is Sandor. And um, as we were trying to hide him, I don't think they realized we were lying, but they found him and then knew that he was uh, hiding himself and he's the one we sparked I mean, the ended up li li I'm lying either because I didn't know it was a dwarf burger yeah yeah <laughs> um I tried to uh in intimidate her gaslight intimidate her and it didn't work and um then we are now entering conflict I think is all the important bits I don't really want to in the recap be like yeah and we spent this time doing begetting reagents just because otherwise it'll be so long it won't be meaningful to anyone. <laughs> I mean, just say, like just go over it. Don't just skip most of the session. You did miss some important things, like all of the stuff that happened at the uh, tavern. Didn't I join after the tavern? No, you were there while uh, you were there when they arrived, and uh, uh, you weren't there when they arrived and checked it out. And I believe you arrived. Uh, Mid -story. While, yeah, while, while the story time was happening, but everything that happened in the night with uh, Estrid and stuff. Was a I time. cannot remember off the top of my head what we're referring so, to. Over the course of the night, there was a small series of encounters with a some sort of guard who seemed like she was cloaking her allegiances to something or other. Potentially, she was working for the scale in one way or another. That was, like, suspicious of the tavern owner. Are you far away from your mic, David? My hand might have been in front of it. My was bad. it the scale, though? Because that led into the... It's not the... clear what she was working for, but she gave a warning later on that implied some interesting things. Regardless, uh, I believe Karnlik detected or found out that the... Um, tavern owner was assisting and sending potentially uh, Aesir kin on their way to a safer location? Or was that Estrid's discovery? I just remember there was like, it was almost like there was two groups. There was some people we thought were like could be something to do with the scale and there was another lot of people that they ended up getting sus of me because, well, at least my dragon thing because so that went to fly after him and they were like ah it's a dragon someone's spying on us so there was one group of person and then there was just a woman and the woman that yeah. we met in the bar was just like a mercenary with some scars and she looked kind of cute and we she ignored us at first and then when i went back and chatted to her later she was like uh, and i revealed that i was a mercenary after having previously pretended to be a fisherman for fun you know <laughs> um that uh the she was suspicious of some stuff that's going on in the bar or at this tavern and that uh yeah see she's kind of, kind of cute um that uh to get out of here in the next couple of days if she, you didn't want to be caught up in it and we put two and two together because we had over Esther had overheard a conversation between one of the members of a group that were camping nearby talking to uh either the innkeeper or his bar staff saying that he, they needed to meet someone in the next town along the road and that they would get them safe passage uh, and we kind of assumed that safe passage was to um, look at the map the town that's north of to the Varden I can't remember his name off the top of my head <clears throat> um, and that from there they'll have to walk to their next destination which kind of sounded like they might be heading north to the rebels honestly but that's just a guess now uh, yeah, and then as Estrid said, she tried to follow that group with her dragon, and they got scared at the sight of this little dragon servant. 
and tried to kill it and then fled that night and we never saw them again. So clearly they didn't like dragons and clearly this um, cute mercenary chick was uh, keeping an eye on the tavern for certain reasons. Probably for the scale is what it sounded like. Um, and yeah, and then we went to the next town and we went and did some more essence harvesting in the cold and then bundled our way towards the situation that Dallas described. Yes. The, na the name of that town is Sulevik. <clears throat> that was the pass that led from the town that was next to Very good. Uh, yeah, roll the initiative if you have not already clicked the button. Uh, in as a reaction to the rolling initiative DM, I would like to use um, quick draw. Oh. Sure. Um, I feel like I when I jumped in the sesh, I missed some of the context of the things you were already talking about. So if you want any of that in the doc, fuck, um, damn it, Estrid. <laughs> you got it. Vicky got a good roll. And that one, Estrid, really. <laughs> no one's meant to be worse than what I rolled here. What are you guys doing? Let's hope the women's both go after you. <laughs> mm. When we say go after you, do you mean in yeah, turn or, not or in running out? Right As in attacking. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so my attack will be targeting uh, Sander. Uh, was that what we're saying about someone who has the ability to make us re-roll? Uh, yeah, the enemy. The enemy. Yeah, sick. So, can you do, decide that? What, do it again, um, he might not choose you at this point, let's be real. Did we decide what Sandor was meant to do? I, uh, his first is putting on armor, but yes. Also, come on, guys, where are your cameras? So I've got a minus four yeah. to hit on this attack roll. No advantage because my advantage is just nullified by the sun. light. Still hit. <laughs> nice. Yeah, uh, so I'm going to. Um, Marker as my as my favorite foe as a result. Um, and add my d4, my d6 bonus. My favorite foe. Let me just check my checklist. I made a checklist. Uh, yeah, yeah, nothing else applies. Right. That is a technical though. Rolled above uh what? half. Piercing technical. Uncanny dodge. Oh, she's reducing the damage. Does that present the technical? I believe that's reduction, not resistance. Something. Cool. Well, she takes a little little tick of damage as they shout out and start chasing after him. Uh, let me just open up my favorite foe feature. Technical that's also her speed. reaction. I don't know where that works out of the... Uh... All right, well. <clears throat> Good start. Um, and then, have they, has everyone rolled initiative now, DM? Yep. Oh, cool. I and haven't. then I will use the <laughs> War Master ability to pause combat for 15 minutes so we can have a look at the initiative order and make an adjusted plan. I have started the timer. What's the initiative order, everyone? Oh, well, it looks like the great women is off to Estra on the bar at the top. Oh, right, seriously? we can't see the initiative order initially, can we? So we can't, can't see, see them, them until they on... have taken a turn. Oh, yeah, they're not actually... Like so them. on the bar, it shows them as be the Great Wyvern as being after... Uh, on the bar, it doesn't hide them. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It's just so that when I want to bring something in, surprise. Okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, a couple of good news is uh, when Vic League is Guillaume. before Guillaume. Um, the issue there, though, in Vic League is um, both... Risk is after. Uh, but yeah, and so is Mal. So potentially you could... Mal's before. Yeah, oh, yeah, but Mal, but he's after you, and we want to get a bonus, a disadvantage on his abilities before you go. Hmm. So potentially what we can do here is you could move up to his... Wait, so you're saying you want me to cast Hex over Bless? 
uh, probably is more beneficial in this particular scenario, though. The less is also good, so either would work. But the idea is to get a, an extra bonus on him for the specific task of trying to beat him in this. Um... Just remember, I only have two packed magic spells and one third level at the moment because I haven't yeah, pulled no. stuff out of. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I so might pull out later. Uh, on Vic League, uh, you could attack him. Um, you could so you could move up to him, bonus action rage, and then hold your action to do an alley grapple after uh, after um, Mal's turn. So the question stands: Is whatever Mal's action takes better than two attempts at a grapple? Uh, but will the second one also restrain? It won't. I'll have to use another. Yeah, well, we need the restraint is the thing. The, the grapple yeah. doesn't matter. It's the restrained. We'll condition. give that a go then. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait the, till... The other thing that we could do is I could target him with an attack from... with my cantrip attack. I think you do that as well. But the issue with that is it does quite significantly lower my damage against Melisandre. Um, because of the way that my rune works when it um, stacks up constant damage. There's no other way we can get frost handed. And, uh, no, but I, and I would, the other thing is I would have to hit as well. And yeah. I can yeah, give myself advantage. 23. I can give myself advantage, but even still hitting a 23 is not super likely. So, well, I think I missed something. Yet. What was you attacking the arm meant to add to the helping here? I can automatically inflict frigid with my oh, which gives disadvantage on which gives yeah, disadvantage okay. on checks to avoid grapple. Which is like the the thing we need to even the field because I have advantage naturally, but he's got a higher level of like base stat than I do um, to the grapple check. If you prepare, so was it prepare action to alley grapple then do it reaction potentially? Um, yeah. If you had bless plus inspiration, how much does that add into it? Oh yeah, you can use inspiration, can't you? That's. I was about to say that's a probably good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Blessing and inspirations. That's a D four and a D eight, isn't it? Uh, I mean, also we could spend yep. a cohesion for a reroll D twenty. Of yours or the other person's? Bless is not on ability checks, only on attacks and saves. Okay, so just be the inspiration. But advantage and the inspiration may be enough. What do we think? Um, actually, or do we, hit, or do we just, just hex? Work, it? Second. I, so there's also the option of two players exchanging initiative for uh, one cohesion point, which could get mm. Estrid to be going sooner. We could put um, Estrid or Trisk in place of Pathland. Yeah. You can do that for a cohesion point? Uh, switch it up. Two players can exchange initiative roles before the first round of combat for one cohesion. Mm. Well, we should definitely consider switching Estrid and Pathland. Pathland. Yeah. Considering he'll be doing like nothing, nothing. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just lock that in immediately because that is that no seems relevant and important. <laughs> yeah. So DM, we will spend a cohesion point to switch around Estrid and Athlan in initiative order. Um... Okay. So yeah, Estrid, you know what you got to do, right? Yar, epic. Finish so there's no need for discussion on growth. that. Um, yeah, so... Same shit I always do. Uh, my vote, although Bless is great, what's the range on Bless? Um, I think it's that... 30, isn't it? 30. So the, the issue there is you're only really hitting Unviklig, yourself, and Trisk. I know Viklik's really the only high, any benefit of bless on high priority. Checks. So I would say, like considering the initiative order, using hex is probably better. So hex, hex on Guillaume for strength, was it? Yeah, hex on Guillaume for strength, mm -hmm. and then bonus action inspire on Viklik. Bonus action. Huh? Is not hex bonus action anyway? Is hex a bonus action? Yeah. Oh, does that mean you can't inspire? That would then, yeah. Or can you inspire as an action? 
as well. No, it'd be just um, as usual. The only thing I'll say about Hex is it won't level very well. Um, the main idea of Hex wasn't for damage, but for the reducing grapple checks. Uh, yeah, just making the point that like we get more out of the Bless as a Bless than we get out of the Hex as a Hex, if that makes yeah. sense for the... Small and the Bless the is an action. Work, so uh, maybe we just go with... Can Lachna cast Hex? Uh -huh. I assume not. He can cast any of Mal's spells. Well, Lachna yep. could use Hex then. Yeah, Lachna could use Hex. That's yep. more efficient, for sure. What did oh, you yeah. want Lachna to do in the plan? Can't remember. He was to back up Estrid to take out the Wivens. So if Estrid fails to take out the Wivens, he will need to go and, and help. He does have to stay within five feet of Mal to cast Mal's spells and vice versa. Wait, you didn't is, put Lachna in the... Oh, okay, I see in hold, that you said. Is whole dragon his spell or Mal's spell? His. Uh, yeah, his. Yeah, and that's got a 60-foot range, right? So where did you actually put Lochna? I only see a mention under... Yeah. I don't actually see him in the plan. Uh, that's because he um, acts on the same initiative order as you. And I forgot to add him in, in that version of the plan. But he, he's, he was just going to go after the... Um, he was going to cast Hold Dragon on if on the Wivens if any of them failed. If any of them passed their check. So that was still... Lochna's turn that is going to depend on what happens in Estrid's. But if, yeah, if Estrid uh, succeeds, which I think she's probably likely to, considering their charisma is only 11, mm -hmm. um, and they should have minus 5 to the roll. No, you've said it, then, they'll fail. I know, right. Uh, <laughs> but then Lachna, yeah, Lachna should cast Hex on Guillaume, and so Vicklick should hold his action until after Lachna's turn. Agreed. And I'll that makes just, sense to me. And I'll just continue to target Melisandre. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and it means if this is successful, we will hold off on plant growth, and we'll just get you to a safe location, Estrid, and then you can start trying to deal damage with your ranged abilities. How long do we have left in the planning? Six minutes, 20 seconds. Okay, I'm just going to boil some tea real quick. <laughs> <laughs> better be, better be quick. Um, uh, the final thing I was going to say is Trisk probably still keeps his his current plan, because applying um, disadvantage, oh. applying frigid is, is good. Yeah. But potentially, if he applies frigid with one of his attacks, then he can target the other one at Melisandre, but... Yeah, the only issue, it's it's how we do it. Better chance versus getting the strangle off right away. I haven't thought about that. Oh, well. What, exactly? It takes an attack to apply the strangle effect. Mm -hmm. If I could strangle, if I could grapple and strangle in the same turn, then we'd be starting immediately. But it's one extra round. Cool deal. Ah, uh, the restraint yeah. is the important part. I think the you restraint. Yes. Is there anything else we need to figure mm -hmm. out? Um, I guess take the moment to make sure everyone's aware that Guillaume's AC is twenty-three and has. Good saves in. Wow, it's the same as me. Wisdom, charisma, but probably everything yeah. as well. Probably everything except maybe Dex is not great. Yeah, but even then, it's probably like passable. Yeah. And uh, yeah, if Melisandre starts to sit particularly still for any period of time, that is terrifying, and she needs to be either killed or denied her vision. Mm hmm. Or do we have to deny her vision outside of your tool's center? Darkness. So that needs to be on quick dial. Alright. There's also just casting of like blindness or something mm, yeah. from Estrid's channel of entity. But yeah. What did Mind Whip do again? Uh, it's the same effect as slow, where you have to choose one of either an attack, oh, yep. an action, a bonus action, or a reaction. <laughs> hey, how are we feeling? Stressed, yeah. but confident. I'm so stressed. <laughs> I've never been stressed <laughs> for my first turn more than I am now because I like I looked at all the different things I can I can do to add damage to my first turn. I'm like, well, that's a lot. And so I made a checklist, but I still think I'm gonna forget shit. <laughs> Welcome to Zarthan. Oh good job. God. Thank you, Jake. This has been 
probably about as well prepared for a fight as we've ever been and second still, only to scary. <laughs> uh potential results as the fly the firewall nonsense that we pulled in uh we lots of runes. We lots of runes. Now don't forget everyone. Yeah, that was, the second that, was that we get into the fight, we just have to completely disregard everything and full frontal assault. Oh, yeah, we've made <laughs> the plan hasn't survived. <laughs> yeah, full frontal assault sounds pretty fun. <sighs> okay, well once Dallas is back, I think we just go into it. You ready to take your turn? Let me just on the tile. say my turn out loud so everyone knows what I'm going to do because I have an obsession with saying my turn out loud anyway. Someone can catch you in the act if you forget something. Yeah, so I'm going to be bonus action. Oh, fuck. Bonus action, oh, fuck. I just tried to click. They're right next to the open inventory button. You wrote initiative. <laughs> I was 22, I'm pretty sure. I was 22. I mean, 22.18. Sorry. I just, yeah, I'm sorry. I haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Next time that happens, we're sticking with the new one. You've been warned. This is your warning. Why is there... How did you even roll initiative? There's an initiative button. Roll initiative button right next to the inventory button on the um, the uh, Argon Combat HUD. There's an inventory button on the Argon Combat HUD? Honestly, I forgot the Combat HUD even. the inventory is. button? Like, I use yeah. the hard sure, but the inventory button? Yeah, it opens your character sheet. Um, anyway, right, so let me talk to my turn before. in the last minute. Uh, so, sorry. Uh, so, I'm going to bonus action mark, and because she's my favorite foe, it's going to automatically, well, no, I can spend a use of another ability to mark her as if I used a second level ability. So, it'll be 2d6 damage, uh, 2d6 extra damage whenever I hit it with a weapon attack. And I'll then be using. Um, my first attack, I'll be spending a spell slots to try and hit with my cold damage. Um, because I want to try and get on a roll and the cold damage. Also, we'll do an extra D3 because she's breached. <laughs> so, first attack, we'll do, we'll do base damage. I'll do sneak attack uh, because I'll have advantage. I'll do mark. I'll do the archery cantrip, which is 1D6 plus 1D3. Um, and do you have yeah. any extra damage because of first turn? No, that'll be on my third attack, is when that happens, because it gives me an extra attack, which is my third attack. And then I have a fourth attack from if I do all of them as ranged attacks. Plus, if any of them are exceptional or crits, then I can use my reaction to do a follow up attack. So that's all into Melisandre? Yes, this will all be into Melisandre. So we're not yep. frigiding. I am not going to be frigiding Gloom. Yeah. Okay. Um, I just want to say, Jake, are you closing your character sheet to be having to reopen it from the HUD? Yeah. So, like, double click the top bar and just have that as a small thing that you can double click to reopen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Much I'll easier probably, than I'll probably forget and, and close it, close, but yeah. Like, most sessions, I actually like open up a few things and have them closed in the top right just for quick access. Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Ten seconds before the time uh, restarts. Ooh. Here we fucking go. Did you ever arrive, David? Oh yeah, I made it ages ago. <laughs> ah, it's it, like, loud. Ah, time's restarted. Okay, yeah. I use mark on her. Am I targeting her? Yes, there we go. Play active effects. She is oh, now marked. She, uh, she is marked at second level because I use my ability. I'm now going to make an attack, spending a spell slot to give myself a second layer of advantage, which becomes one layer of advantage. Um, I don't have any other situational bonus, but I am going to be critting on 16s. Yikes. Let's see a crit. Not, not quite one off a crit. <laughs> okay, so this is using the archery cantrip. So there's the 1d8 base damage. It'll be plus 1d6 from favorite foe, plus... 2d6 from Mark, plus 1d6 and 1d3 cold. Good lord, the turn timer. Mm. Uh, and that is, and my sneak attack as well, because I had advantage. Cool, roll. Uh, cool, cool. Uh, and automatically set 
automatically set the thing. I'll also use a advantage on this attack, so advantage hitting on crit on sixteens again. Eight. Uh, no sixteen, so one d six from two d six from Mark. Two d four. I know. Um, two d four. No other bonuses. Nope. Uh, cool. Third attack, I'll be spending another spell slot because I want to do as much damage as I can. Advantage, critting on 16s. How did I roll that? Okay, final attack. No spell slot. That, that is a crit, crit, so I'll be doing a follow up attack. So 2d6 plus 1d6, uh, and that is all. Can I do my follow up attack as a reaction? Yep. Cool. Reaction Almost follow up turn. attack. All right. I'm going Ooh. now. Uh, I also forgot to hit fucking crit, which is something I always uh, do. Oh, 66. I'm going to move. Here should be enough. That is another crit. Press crit time, please. Small book. Whoa, I need to actually be able to read my spells. Um, Punishment. And the, yeah, so... because you crit, that's just an auto technical, right? To end yep. it? Yeah, so I overrode the cold technical, sadly, but that's fine. So it's just breached again. Hmm. Uh, that was a lot of damage. Bum, bum, bum. That was a lot of damage. Sweet. So I'm going to go straight spot, into... I think I spent three in the end. Concord. I missed And it. I'm going to use that for... You targeted both of the women? Both of them with that, so they will just have disadvantage. No, minus five, not disadvantage. No. Mm -hmm. I thought it was minus five. Dominate is disadvantage and minus five. No, so just... uh, conquer gives you three uses of subjugate, so it is just subjugate. Oh. Whereas if I were to conquer, so... it's subjugate plus minus so five. Subjugate. Yeah. Anyway, it, it's let's conquer. Get that, let's anyway. get that targeted and cast that spell on both those weapons, eh? Yar. You make sure you're targeting both. Finish. Those. Sorry, can I just check the fave? The thing on top isn't correct, right? It is it correct. Is. How do I target both of them? Because it's not but you started, me. Yeah, look, you the did. white, the white bar between Karmic yeah. and the Wyvern is like start up turn. But they have higher initiative. I'm, I'm just wondering why the white bar is um, like why is Karmic not on the far left? It doesn't um, start at the far one. left. It starts in the middle. For some yeah, reason. I was like, trying to select both of them and it wouldn't let me do it. So sorry, my shift all literally takes shift. like mm. Mm. so long. You want to do it again or? or... No, I just target the left one now. Fuck! Ah. Don't consume the spell. You know how it goes. Disadvantage. Bring it up. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. Alright. Oh, I'm fucking targeted. Because it just switched as I clicked it. I moved up. I am. Yes. Raging. Five. Indeed. Dead. Did it work? Yay! Hey, they both failed. Lonely. Now only one concentration used. Yes. <sighs> Raging, and I am readying my action to use an alley grapple on Guillaume, High Inquisitor Guillaume, when Lochner has finished acting and lets me know it's time to go. Okay, at the end of your turn, Guillaume. Uh... Legendaries. Damn it. I wanted to check <laughs> for those, but yeah. we spent it on other things. Move to there. You yeah, might as well use your action. reaction to it. Obviously attack him. Attack? Well, I guess it means I'm not alley grappling. Can you use alley grapple for an option? I don't have the, the ability that lets me do that, no. Okay. And I don't have a weapon drawn, because I was planning on using both hands to grapple. Well, you can punch him, but it's not going to do anything, so I wouldn't bother. Yeah, I wouldn't bother. Are you, uh, I, are if you I make Osborne? an attack, my rage will continue, so... Uh, I'm taking his reaction. Yeah, oh, I'll okay, take cool. an attack. Just don't Damn. have a rage strike by default in here. You've gone quiet, uh, David. 
I, I just I got closer to the mic. Anyway, do I ha I don't think I have unarmed strike in here for whatever reason. FYI, Dave, it's literally just whether you mumble or not. I don't think it's mic location. You Sorry. just sometimes trail off at the end of a sentence. Yeah. Sorry, but being specific. Uh, well, I don't actually have an unarmed strike in here, so I'm just going to... Can we just say you punch and miss? As... <laughs> yeah, <it'll do laughs> because the only thing you wanted to do was... Yeah, keep the rage going. It's good. Let's keep rage going, so... Cool, oh, Mal. Cool. Um, who am I wanting to target with Bless, guys? Uh, preferably at least Unviklik and myself if you can get close enough yes. to us. Yeah, I should as well uh, ideal for concentration checks, but that might be hard. I don't think... So, okay. Let's try my best. <clears throat> Feeds 20 feet. Well, literally maybe can't target anyone. Rep. Oh, maybe... I have not. Um... Can I just have dropped it at the start of my movement, if that's alright? Dropped what? Backpack. Dropped it like I didn't it's hard. I realize it was impeding movement. Uh, uh, even even with, your... with your backpack off while wearing your armor, you have a 20-foot movement speed. Yeah, we've talked about this a couple of times, okay. at least in chat. Okay. Well, then... Um... I can't do anything because I moved that way. Is it alright if I just undo my movement slightly to go towards Unvikli? Nope. Alright. Are you still within range of inspiring him? No. Inspiring's only 30 foot? Yeah. Well then, try and get some damage in on Guiam. Maybe something like a Guiding Bolt. Or, I don't know yeah, what else you've got. Do we, um, you still have the. Did you have the one doing five holes? Or the whatever they did, five holes? Just use yeah, them. You can sell yeah, that one's fire burn and eat them with a fireball, I suppose, but they're probably going to pass both saves. It's still damage. Still damage. Like, damage on Melisandre right now. Can I, I just check in our plan of me casting Bless? Like, did we know that I was not in distance of everyone? Uh, well, the idea was at least to bless Unviklig and if you could, other people. <sighs> All right. Quite annoying. Are you going to summon Svartbrun and attack? What are you going to do? Yeah, I just I'm trying to find it in my sheet because the way it works for me is that it's in. I wasn't planning to do that. I was planning to bless, and I've got to find it in another. No, yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter. Cool, well, it's Luckner's turn. I wouldn't, I don't know if we're going to go with Hex anymore, considering. It'll just Eldritch Blast. Damn, I didn't realize we got that much damage that quick. There's a good chance that she'll get recovery. I mean, yeah, but. Not for here. It's still good. Yeah, here we go. Um. 30 feet. Yeah. I'm either gonna go have a nap or go to sleep, so I'll see you guys later. Well. Bye, Chris. Bye. Is anyone scared right now? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because we're about to get... We're in Guillaume's turn. I don't like it. Uh, having a good time. It's all going to be great. I'm pretty sure... Just the is. Wivens have gone smoothly. <laughs> wisdom uh, save. Wisdom throw. save. Excellent. Is this a charm effect, DM? Nope. Oh. Why am I blessed? Oh, no. Damn. Did I? I did. Fuck. Good save, boy. For me, yeah. Uh... I stuffed up. <laughs> there we go. This doesn't affect the result. Uh... 
Mm -hmm. So, did you still want me to, like, hide hide, or should I get plant growth off as well first? Getting plant growth off now is definitely the plan. what I'm thinking. Like, drop it in between ah, these two. Drop it while it's hot. <laughs> okay, so I'm taunted. Is that just the... Is it vanished to attack anyone other than him? Yep. That means he can't roll below his mod in to pack yep. rolls. And he's concentrating. That is him, I believe. Ooh, Melisander. So cool, you can still try and grapple him then. Yeah, I'm going to. Like, this needs to happen. We'll still get Trisk to uh, target him with some frigid abilities. Come on, Trisky Bisky. Trisk it for the biscuit. What what has their response been to our sudden flurry of activity? True. I think they were ready for us. Um, <clears throat> I mean, you, uh, Melisande being peppered full of arrows has like <laughs> is currently like you know holding holding her stomach, where an arrow has pierced her, and is like looking looking around like frantically. Mm. Guillaume's just kind of like. Moved up calmly, got into position, and turned his attention onto you guys. French fries, motherfucker. Fries, mother truck. She was. Is the kind of surprise round? Her speed is reduced because she's bloodied. All right, Sandor. And she can't really take cool. the dodge or guard action. Not this turn, I'm not. Well, I mean, putting the armor on is pretty cool, I think. Uh, that's fair. Why is the music, music, please? Yeah, I'll still be invisible so you won't see the armor yet. You'll see it eventually. That's a thing. I don't know what that thing is. Oh, it's that thing. Hmm. You're turning into a black hole. No, yep. she's just making darkness. As, as... Creature within the radius becomes she's going invisible. To Thankfully, it's very obvious where the radius is. So it may also be charging up in that area we wouldn't know. Yeah, it's bad. Can you see out of it? Yeah, it's just an area of darkness. Okay. Not not fancy magical darkness no, spell darkness. Cool. Uh, <sighs> There's a black spot on my shoulder. The thing is that it would typically end if you would attack, cast a spell. Etc. Does using arts also count for those things? Uh, if it requires attack an attack. attack. Okay. And Although, she will bonus action. Yeah, the, the, the standing still prep one doesn't need an attack, doesn't it? No. That's kind of what I was querying. She could already hide as a bonus action, but is now invisible. Uh, She's not invisible until the start of her turn. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. And I love how we get like two tracks to load and the playlist. Stops. So invisibility yeah. functionally is just disadvantage, which is okay. We know that she's in that radius, but we would have to be within there to target her. It's awkwardness. Well, it's just normal darkness. Yeah, so but I just see in it. Target 150 uh, feet around. You see her vanish from it, can't we? Yeah, she she appears to hide. Is the vibe mm. I'm getting? She Bad she's gone. She's else. gone. Sick. Epic. Damn it. She appears to have disappeared mm. beyond normal hiding. Well, get some AOE damage in there, boys. <laughs> no. Yes, just drop us load. All right. Unless she TP. Boy. I know it's going to be difficult to hit, but if you can freeze my my man Guillaume. Oh, so I yeah, have an AOE we want to. He wants to quicken uh, a spell, either Arctic Breath or Cold Snap, and then probably follow up with. He Ray can't Ray. move because he's on a thing that doesn't let him move. Oh, is that like blocking? <laughs> is because he's too short? <laughs> the log is too tall. Uh, Slash TP uh, Melisande Shrisk. Try now. Oh, that lagged and did not. Because his height was uh, zero feet. I did not mean. Oh, whatever. I'll just keep going. Just get him 
as long as he's like close enough to Guillaume to cast. I was mainly worried about Peewee. Yeah. I mean, so which spell were you specifically requesting to freeze? Either Arctic Breath or Cold Snap as a um, Quickened and then Ray of Frost as an action, because both will... Ar- Arctic uh, Breath is the one that can auto-set it if he fails. So probably Arctic Breath in this instance. Um, do I need to hit anything Foundry to Quicken or just... No, spend just some sorcery it. points. Just because Arctic Breath would hit me, wouldn't it? It would. This is going to be a different terrain between the two. Reach him. Um, That's some great rolls on the 3d8 there, by the way. Wow. Three ones. Nat. He fails the save, though. Nice. Is that mean, does that mean he's frigid? Uh, no, that's not right. It didn't add his full mod for some reason. How much higher would it go? 19. Okay. Yeah, that's... That's concentration. Uh, that's, that's his concentration. The first roll should have been... What's con save. Uh... 19. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's slightly higher than the DC of 14. Actually, no, not 19. 15. Ah, that's worse. <laughs> I mean, so, I'm sorry about the issue. Don't worry really too much because yep. I can just skip And then, the yeah, Ray Frost. Is it a uh, cover? Uh, yeah, yeah half cover. Perfectly. So negative two, right? Yep. So 25 AC effectively for this. Nice. Yeah, I don't know if you can... Just crit. critting. Cute. Would it hit without the cover? Nah. Not if it's Can 25? No. no. 25 effect. Yeah, the minus two. So, minus two creatures there. Yeah. So it was 23. Would Someone hit is here. The cover? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's one over here. I'm going to use my action right, well, to sign my armor. I guess I'm just going to have to go with what I have. Which is dangerous. That's quite. My concern right now is if Melisande's somehow managed to fucking teleport or some shit. I don't think so. She's just hidden beyond the powers of perception. She's not used that ability to become invisible. That only happens at the start of your turn. She's just done a normal hide action, and because of that, she's become invisible. So she's got some other ability that's been able to make her invisible because she's hiding. Or she's just hidden well enough from all of our perception. No, the DM said, beyond normal hiding abilities, she seems to have vanished. Okay. Gone into a rope trick. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Alright, what's half fun doing? We still... Is half just escaping? That makes sense. Hi, half He's gonna hide. This is acceptable. Understandable. What else are you going to do in initiative 2, lol? Lamel. Thanks for being a Bash. sacrifice, Hathlin. <laughs> yeah, thanks for giving me your initiative. <laughs> all right, Jake. Okay, well, I will be having disadvantage on all of my attacks, and I can't see her. So I've got two options. I can either cast Gloom and get myself some non-disadvantage, or I can try and spend my last first level spell slot to get a neutral roll to try and set Frigid on Gwion. Uh, if you can get the frigid, it's really good. I'm already going to give him disadvantage this turn. Okay, good. Never mind, I won't do it, because it's just a waste. It's it the only thing I would do. Right. So yeah, I'm going to cast... Uh, I'm just going to quickly look at my bonus actions. He's not been hit at all. Hmm. The music is back. Never left. Hey, yeah, uh... I'm going to cast Magic Weapon as a bonus action, and then Gloom as an action. Pew pew. And my bow is going to become magic. And then set Gloom on myself. Wow. Um, then I'll just edit my... So yeah, and then I'm going to fly. I'm going to fly up uh, 20 feet, and I'm going to move this way so I can. Okay. And then I'll make a con save to stay in the air. Easy. Nice. DC five still. And then that's the end of my turn. 
the thing just reset oh, for wait, some reason. No, arts per round. Oh. Arts, per... arts per turn. Fuck. All right. Well. Because the arts per turn rules. Geez, that's a massive bit of darkness. It's only, it's only when you do an attack. Oh, I will. Okay, so I can use uh, Jesus. Attack, no, no, no. Plant growth. Um. Uh, yeah. So you want to try and. Fireplace? You guys want me to bother like making a space for you guys to not have it or should i just cover well, like the, the entire area combat like i think something like like this pretty fine like you could even in, in i think you need to make a pathway for sandor to get down the side would the sandor need to get close to melisander probably not yeah so maybe leave a path next right next to the lake for sandor or should i make it like side. through the tent <laughs> Sure, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but the idea here is that you're protecting yourself and Trisco yeah. a little bit. Look, oh, yeah, I'll go with that and leave a... Although I don't know if it really counts, because it's got to be like you're essentially letting an area around friendly people. But I have half a turn space, remember. Anyway, I'm going to cast it. Uh... Wow, the template is fucking huge. <laughs> yeah, it's big. Yeah, I, the only thing I would say is you don't want to put it in like this area, and you don't that want it right next to the lake. So any anything except this How area about that? And right next to the lake. <laughs> sure, that's fine. Cool. But probably you could even move it more this way, you know. Because you can designate any area inside that to not have it. So can you can just say the, the purple area doesn't have it and right next to the lake doesn't have um, it and then do everything turns else. turns about... Want. Whoops, that's fucking the wrong mode. Excuse me. I always forget how to select that. I'm going to walk my movement. Okay, I'm not going to walk right. my movement. <laughs> I am going to... So what was the radius, the initial one that you've got? That's Pretty full, fair. 150... Cool. Uh, do I need to like gain altitude to fly over this plant growth, or can I just use flight? Wouldn't matter either way. You can make it. Uh, hang on. Uh, what's the range on plant growth? 150 foot, so that's actually out of your range. Uh, 150 foot fair and enough. then a 100 foot radius. Yeah. It's going to have to be closer to us. <clears throat> so you have to do it somewhere that's within this area. Around you. Um, excuse me while I find that and delete it. Okay. Let's do fucking yeah. Let's do measured assaults for this because I don't think I don't think there are scales. Sure, why not? You want it further? Oh, no, no, I see you. Up that way? No, 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 you're fine. I was looking at the wrong circle. That's fine. As long as, yeah. That'll do. That's fine. Right. On the click. Uh, I don't need the range, but yeah, I won't use it. All right, I'm going to use a measured assault to as a bonus action. Uh, gain him. Well, I guess it's. 10 foot radius. Oh, I don't need to save. Whatever. That was dumb. Probably shouldn't have placed that, but I've got a menacing aura, or unnerving aura, sorry. Did I make. I clicked the wrong one. Apologies. That was the wrong aura, but I'm using a measured assault to place an aura of the same size, which is unnerving aura. And then I'm going to skim over the terrain, line up against Guillaume and use a second uh, measured assault to alley grapple him. So it is a contested check for grapple as usual but he has disadvantage and I have advantage. Uh, so unnerving aura. Right. Can you put Aura Nerving Aura in the chat? Yeah, yeah, sorry.
and apply active effects on yourself for it. Mm -hmm. So that we remember it's on you. Yep. And now I'm concentrating uh, attributes. So that was not slots. And I've oh. one Azure Assault slot remaining. All right. That's excellent. And well, that's about one for 16. Good thing Invictric has advantage and plus 13. So that's one attack. Ally Grapple, he is now restrained. Oh, excellent. And I'd like to make another contested check for my sure second put attack. In, whenever you use an art, put it in the chat. Ah, uh, yeah. Which is... Uh, Ally Grapple. There we go. And uh, cool. as my second second attack, I'd like to use strangle. So another contested check. Yeah, another contested <laughs> check from him. My result is twenty eight. All nice. right, he is now suffocating, and I can't do anything else. My turn. Cool. Excellent. I like fly up skimming just over the grass slam into his chest both arms wrap under and then just lock up an arm and like start choking him out by crushing his shoulder into his neck now we just wait for him to cool. teleport but hopefully he can't <laughs> make sure you mark your shield is unequipped oh yeah I should still have so I'm just casting I'm one. just blessing Estrid right now because no one else wants it right? <laughs> or you could hex Gwion or you could um, do some damage against Guillaume. Or you, if you've got any AoEs in that area where Melisandre is, remember that's double difficult terrain if you step into that radius that you can see there. Minus two to get the AC. So every five feet takes 20 foot of movement inside there. Hey, I'm already in the radius. Marked correctly. Right. Yeah, that, it's not. So that's not a legal move? Yeah. Also, my, sorry. Uh, hang on, don't, don't do it. Foundry is don't do it for me right now. Control don't Z that. It. And then do it again because I just had to update it. Uh, Make sure it's just playing. Jesus. Yeah, I can't even move in. There we go. <laughs> my AC's accurate. My effects are still good. But yeah, go. yeah, bless for Gwyn uh, for Unvikli isn't crucial. If you got any AOEs into the area where Melisandre is, yeah, where you can just do damage to Gwyn. Do damage. I can see him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. He's just behind Unvikli. And there's just. Uh, a thick waste of grass. Not enough for cover, I don't think. Ah. Um, Dex. I no, believe. Strength. Strength. Because of grapple? Cool. Strength. Yeah. Grapples, you can choose either strength or Dex, and he has extra. Did the active effect others. correctly apply? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. And. Yeah, whenever you attack him, you'll do extra damage. Yeah, epic. And that applies to each individual thing, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So great for hit. Ooh. So add the D6. Attacks against him also have advantage because he's restrained. Yeah. Oh, remember, yeah. Remember to add the D6 um, to your damage. He's concentrating, right. So I should have added that in the thingy. Yep. Oh, uh, what? Why is it no? There we go. And I'll add it properly in the next one. That means he has now uh, got a necrotic technical. Because it's necrotic damage. Which means that this Eldritch Blast, oh no, yeah, this Eldritch Blast will do 1d, an extra 1d5? One 1d2.5? Oh, 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 <laughs> what, what do we do there? 1d2. You down. mean the one that missed? Or? Yeah, the yeah, Eldritch Blast yeah, yeah. is a d10, so 1d5. But it's, yeah, it's, it's quarter because it's, 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 it's ah, four. I'm done either. Okay. We good? So he's got a necrotic technical on him. Yep. So I need to do Is Foundry like goofing for anyone else? Mine's really, really laggy. It's a bit laggy. Um, so is the difficult terrain auto applying now? Yeah. Well, I'm, I guess I'm going to cry. Yep, you're stuck there. <laughs> <laughs> I literally couldn't even walk in, Andrew. Um, but I'm you can. It. You can. Hang on. AoE Melisandre. Uh, I can't see into that tent, right? No. Cool. 
Yeah, you can AoE the area where Melisandre was. Sorry, are you, are you doing Lochner again this turn, Dan? Uh, yeah, sorry. Um... Hmm. Just gonna shout out, like, put us in the dark. He will. He's got a necrotic tech. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Good advantage on the hit. Oh, come on! Advantage to hit! Yeah, 23 AC is still quite a lot. I know it. <laughs> Probably cover from there as well, to be honest, considering where Unviklik is. Yeah. Maybe, but that would have been a nice guiding bolt because it would have done an extra 2d8 damage or 2d6 damage. Mm. Right, Cass is at third level, so. It would have been a lot more. Ugh. Uh, yeah, you can't do anything else. You're not here. Vanish. Oh, yeah. All right. Here we go. He is currently second mm. and will take damage at the end of his turn. Hmm. What does he do? He's being grappled by Andre Click. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> there's, gra there's grass everywhere. <laughs> I like uh, presenting unwinnable questions to enemies. Uh, uh, suffocate, choking. Yeah. He casts subtle spell, misty step. Like so. <laughs> he wishes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like just a really he's in a fair bit of pain as well if this lock is accurate. If he yeah. Uh imagine just a like eight foot tall dragon dude I mean, fucking crunching your shoulder is... into your neck. Judging by the number you of You can squares, still try to attack. He can. Yeah. And my AC is lower. So he will try that. Fair enough. I can't parry. Oh, if we heal him while it's withering. Busy. It takes mm -hmm. damage. Yeah. That works too. Ah, fair. He can't use that because it's flourish. That's a flourish. Yeah, he's restricted. He's restrained. Hey. And he will just use his action to try and break you out. All right. He still has disadvantage while I have unnerving aura. Epic. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> uh. That's his action. Bonus action. Doesn't really have any good bonus actions he can use. You know? Gentlemen, we are gaming. For the briefest of moments, we are glorious gods. Uh, you are glorious gods. I am sitting mm. here that I love plants. <laughs> it would move, but at least invisible and in armor. Oh, ah, shit, she's oh shit, she's there. Epic. Yeah, I'm kind of glad <laughs> a spell slot on the area when I knew she'd actually moved by accident somehow. Yeah. I could see through the tent for whatever reason. Yeah, same. Oh, this is good. Or better. Maybe not. Teleport, though. Hold Hold person, this. wisdom saving throw. This is not going to be good. I don't have like anything fancy for this one, so yeah. Oof. Uh, how's that work out for the grapple? You probably drop it. <laughs> no, uh, you well, you he will break out automatically on his next turn on his if turn. the spell's right. still up. Yeah, well, I'll be you... trying to break her concentration. Gentlemen. That's my job. Yeah. Deny her. Yeah, he is. Oh wait, I'm just taunted. Doesn't matter. Um. Please, please, like, break your concentration before my turn so I can continue choking him. Mm. Oh, wait, he takes damage, doesn't he? Yeah, excuse me. Oh, he takes hell frost damage? Yeah. Bonk. Just. I don't think he can fail that. <laughs> So I've seen her come out and go back into the tent now. Yep. Why is it not adding his full bonus to his constitution saves? 
I don't know, I need to remember to add them manually, I guess. We're working. Does anyone have, I don't know, dispel magic? Uh, well, I almost took it, but I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, Mel does. Oh, awesome. Uh, is it in time? No. Maybe Estrid could. I mean, so long as it happens before the arms turn, isn't it fine? Yeah. I mean, no, if it if I get a turn first, I can make him choke out faster. Oh, no, it's more regardless of, like... Yeah. Definitely before the arms uh, turn, that's like back up, but... And just take advantage of a... Widow. Why is he so thick? Because he's got mithril plate mail and a tower shield. Uh, if I uh, can do an AO, well, no, Melisandre's probably not going to drop Con from an AOE. Well, actually, she, he uses an AOE that targets Con on Melisandre. We know she's in sitting in the tent there. What's I can't right? get to anything. I don't think he gets Where is the things. sorcery points on Trisk? I can't. It's on his see front them. page. His features. front page under yeah. metamatic magic ad, ad, He's used okay. two to quicken, so he's down him. to one. Yeah. Okay. And he can use um, he can bonus action arcane surge if he wants. I think I'm just gonna ray of frost, but nah, I reckon he's, you, he's, he says, do we still have advantage against Guillaume? Yep. Yeah. Okay. He's restrained still. So maybe um You can do that. Which one's an attack? Ray of Frost is an attack, yeah. Oh no, he used to have Ice Knife. You can do that. There's not any more. You could yeah, you can do that. If you want. No, all of these are saves, I think. But you, you've got the range to be able to force. Is the that now not half um, cover? Uh, yeah. Just got a crit. Ugh, Gaudry is really working for me right now. Yeah, that is apparent. I saw that like reload twice. Oh, it's one off. Rough. Sorry, I'm going to have to reload. Can you end the turn? I'm going to re refresh. Do you want a bonus action arcane surge in before you end the turn? I've already refreshed. Can we just say that he bonus action arcane surged? God damn, movement is brutal here. It, it really is. Do it if, if you want. That's always yeah. okay. <laughs> 69 feet long. Can you do anything for Melisandre? Um... Foundry is like just not working for me right I'm now. I'm going to say, hold on, let me, uh, probably not. Do you not have any AoEs? Uh, there's a fiber which also bought my own tent, but yeah. So? <laughs> that, that is a thing. So? Uh, we're well, trying yeah. to. We can go we'll here. Get you a new tent. So how does we'll... casting spells in Foundry working? I haven't done this in a while. If I click this, measure template. Just place the template. Having cast spells in a while, fuck off. Right, I, um... <laughs> hey, you've never played a wizard before. Yeah, how long ago was that? Yeah, but you've still done it. Come on, mate. It's not fucking rocket <laughs> surgery. Hey, to be fair, he said a while. He never he didn't say never. <laughs> You've tent. <Whoa>. Yeah, look. <laughs> Goodbye, tent. <laughs> yeah, look. Goodbye, tent. Goodbye, tent. What's the likelihood she has evasion? Goodbye. Does that do anything to the difficult terrain, though? No. Cool. This is fine. Oh, it's just a little, little scorch. It's it's very 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 fucking <laughs> virulent grass. It's full of full of water. It's very green. Very green. I very you were joking then, Jake, about tripping over virulent. <laughs> I just couldn't get. It is, it is, it is. You know what would be a cool effect is if all this growth it had like is. drained all the water out of that little lake next. <laughs> like it just sucked it all up. Wait, so it's telling it from your effects tab. Ah, oh, okay. Cool. Well, that's all we're doing. So did we see? No, we didn't see any rolls for her in chat. That's fair. That's a shame. <laughs> in a bush. Well done, Hathlin. Alright, can is the tent destroyed and we can see her? Uh, I deleted the tent the is on fire. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I can we it. remove the template just because I'm gonna move into that space? Well, there we so go. the tent flap I assume is like closed or something, DM? It's the vibe. Yeah. What would be the what would happen if I just attacked 
the tent flap with my uh, shot. Are you just a target? You target. You would her be you shooting know at her with disadvantage. Yeah. Yep, I can deal with that. Um. <coughs> uh. I think I can deal with it. Um, I'm going to yeah fly. So if you did take damage, by the way, there would be a fire technical. If there wasn't an evasion there, she's potentially a 15th level rogue. I'm just saying, saying, if there was no evasion and she took damage, there would be a fire technical. Technically, 11th level. So she's within 20. We'll take oh, the top oh, off of this tent. Delete that. Thank you. Thanks. So, sorry, I'm just double checking. They ripped my tent. So Shadow Blade is and not concentration. Okay. But what it's worth, you can craft so I can't bonus action and get there in the same tent. So no, I will just be shooting with disadvantage through the tent. So I'm going to spend a uh, my last first level spell slot to give this first attack advantage. And this first attack is going to be using disrupting shot. So advantage mm -hmm. hitting and critting on 16s. Ah, oh, sorry, not advantage, just regular roll. First roll. 11 plus 10 is 21. It's still a hit. Um, yep. <coughs> uh, so 1d4, uh, uh, 2d6, 1d6, and I will add the sneak attack, which is another 1d6. One more roll. Um, okay. And her next con save is made at disadvantage. Because of... No. Excellent. So these next few attacks will be with Hang on, pause the sex, because I need to correct the damage. Pause the sex. It's supposed to be a reaction pre-attack roll, but it not? only shows up once you roll the damage, which means the active ah, yeah. effect does nothing. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Huh, because there are cool. definitely reaction... These next attacks are with disadvantage. Misses. Third attack, uh, because of... They've all been ranged attacks. Yikes. Which is fine. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, you that's did the end the of my job. turn. You have saved us, but... Uh, yeah. What did I use my bonus action for? Piece of shit. She could probably do uh, it again. I didn't, but I'll just vision. save in the air. Huh. So that's a Thankfully, success. Thankfully, she's after Guillaume, so... The DC is now 10, though. Right. Um... I don't really have anything long range enough to hit other than Wall of Fire, but I don't want to block. Oh, maybe not that one. Everyone Stab, up here and... You've still got advantage to hit Guillaume, and he's still yes. withering. So you can hit so him with a, a guiding radio. bolt, or I don't healing. have guiding bolt at the moment unless I expend a, a special thing. Do you have any other radiance? So... Only other uh, radiant, like probably not. No. Only other thing I've got is Toll the Dead, which I'd have That's to move closer. Damage. Yeah, we're looking at radiant to make use of the technical. I I would I would still say like using um a minor miracle on a guiding bolt at like is a it... high level is still a pretty good roll. You're probably going to hit with your attack mod. You've got advantage. Yeah, well, I'll move and here and I'll do that. And Who gave him the necrotic technical? Uh, from hex. Yeah. Hex did it. Okay. One. It was a D. It was a six. Yep. Six on the D6. Excuse me while I find Golding Bolt quickly. Biding Galt. And Biden. And so Biden Blast. It's, it's a second level, Colt. but you can cast it up to third level, so it's up to you. Uh, it's first level. First level. I would cast it at, at at least second level. I'm gonna do it at third. Okay. Big bolt at advantage. Oh, don't miss. And Biden Blast. And mm. um don't type in the damage. So, so sorry, so have we got advantage to hit? Advantage. Or is He's it strained? Okay. See, I'm keeping him nice and still. I love the Button. idea that Button, she please. locks me in place. Button. Doing the thing. You're probably lagging. You Uton? I don't have button. I mean, the button's there, but it's not doing. I'm waiting for like 30 <laughs> rolls Wait, at yeah. once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll pause for a so, second. how's the economy? <laughs> it's been better, but it's also been worse. That's your job to keep track of. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Is <laughs> you want to reload? Uh, I'll give it a go. Wait, so is it freaky for you too, Matt? 
Uh, no, it's been fine. It's just the literally pressing that button. It's just like, hey, button's here. Not doing nothing. The first thing that screws up in like Foundry's network stuff, like when you have internet issues at all, even like the tiniest of jolts, is the buttons for damage and attack rolls. Right. Mm, the and the music will just doesn't work. Probably be even when it's at its best. <laughs> Only thing is, the music's been working most of the time for me so far. Yeah, I've had no music issues this session. I get error 502s all the time for the music. It just fails to load tracks. Ah, there it is. Oh. <laughs> it appears it may have been hiding behind Discord. What do you mean behind? What do you. Ow. <laughs> Oh, it's probably got an overlay, Discord overlay. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, so oh, advantage map. on the yeah, attack. Yeah. Or the, yeah. Well, okay. Uh, Why was that not inside the box? Ah, really <laughs> uh, it's probably fucked. You would probably need to do yeah. it again, Matt. Oh, you need to retarget. Inside what, Nani? Oh, uh, yeah, it's untargeted him. You need uh, to untarget him again, then cast a spell again at third level. Are we taking the hit still, or are we making the whole world happen again? Yeah, just roll with advantage. If I can find good luck on it, we go. Good man, good lady. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, Matt. Is it hiding. It is hiding. Ah, I know where to look for it now. Cheeky bitch is hiding underneath stuff. No. Fucking. Added. Should have added a thing. Added oh, That's it. right. <sighs> you already rolled a twenty-seven. <laughs> I thought you you didn't you do just it said again. Just, you said I just thought you were saying damage. go with this another roll. roll it again because it's right. not working. So right, 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 right. <laughs> got you, got you. So just so add like level, a so it's billion. Sixty-six, so it's nine from the technical right? Plus, say that clearly once we get to the so, damage stage. So don't, so yeah, don't roll just, damage yet. Just don't roll. try not to talk over people, guys. So it's what base is forty six six at third level, so ninety six because of the technical. So you, how much is it rolling, Matt? How much it's is it saying rolling? default sixty six radiant. Cool. So add three d six. Do do do. Situational bonus six d six three d six three d six. bonus. I literally wrote three, and I said six because I was reading the other one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, normal. Go. Bonk. There we go. Oh, dice? Doesn't stack. Never lucky. Damn. Ooh, he Stacks. fails his con. Check. That was on the torn. I'm pretty sure. So. All right. All right. And I, I end the feeling my... that that hasn't added the uh, the extra benefits he has. Yeah, true. But I don't think he can roll a nine. That's probably mm. true. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Need to remember. Anyway, that. I end my turn in the waiting to see so what the I'm fuck happens wanted, position. Still concentrating. Uh, okay. Those were some bad rolls on that damage, but that's I'm, okay. I'm uh, gonna use my action to force oh, another check. Out. How about you unmark yourself as paralyzed first? Yeah. All right. I just gonna yeah force another check to make him choke out faster, and I'm still raging. <laughs> He's still at disadvantage because of our Nova Nora. I'm creeping oh, in very map quiet, and choking so. him out. There must be some auto ducking on my mic or something. Uh, yeah, just make another athletics contested check at disadvantage, and this yep, will. I'm just checking what restrained. Cool. Well, I'm glad I rolled the thirty. He loses <laughs> two rounds instead of one. Uh, do I have anything else I can do for my bonus action? No. Relevant. Nope. Uh... Cool. Um. So, am I dispelling magic something? Uh, we don't need no, to anymore. No, we got rid of it. Thankfully, you can act to your heart's content. To start slowly lowering the height of the tent walls as it burns. 
<laughs> Rip tent. Still advantage on his shots. Mm-hmm. If you're targeting Guillaume. Not targeting his mother. Bless. Yet. So it's <laughs> negative two, but advantage. Cool. Nice. Why do you have advantage? Do you still have cover? Yeah, there's still a car from where he is. It's with the thing the I just the asked. Hey, you could move to your, to your south to avoid that negative two for your second version of... It would take a while. Matter. This area... Oh, Wait. that's a force technical. Did that not... Did I not click... Oh, it wasn't a crit. Never mind. Good. Sorry. This area here is not a, not difficult terrain. You can just move this way. He's surging, so... Lightning and... Other stuff. Radiant. 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 And the force awesome. from this Eldritch Blast. So, so what are you running down or up first? Extra oh, D2. Yeah. Extra D2 force. You so, don't need to type in the force. So 1D6 necrotic plus 2D... 1D2. Don't need to worry about typing in force. Typing doesn't matter. Does that look right? Ah, uh, that's another technical yep. stack. Nice. Searching again. And all the it's technical a, stuff. Does searching stack own... itself? Yeah. It does? It does. Okay. It's just not efficient. So yeah, he's cool. got a surging. So he's got all a right, technical right. stack of one in searching. Technical right. spree. Just, just remember if you guys talk in my turn, I like a running out of time. Yeah. Um, I will probably inspire Trisk. You've used your bonus action this round. That no, I haven't. Saying that, bright lance. While well, you've got hex on, bright lance might be a, a bit better because it will do the same thing I just blast just did, but it won't. It'll do. It went half the uh, damage. You've inspired Guillaume. Well, I did select Trisk, but Foundry is goofing for me a lot. We'll just ungoof it. I don't know what to do there. Anyway. What's the weird red spooky symbol that was on Guillaume for a bit there? Lochner. Ah, yes. it did not look like him initially showed me. It's Lochner with the DM's red. If I'm oh. good to apply that to Trisk because it should have applied. Um Yeah. It's you're not current you're currently still targeting Guillaume. Oh uh, is inspiration. Why is it so small? So this has got minus two as well. Oh, nice. That's big with the technical stack of two. So it's double damage. Nice. Does it chain Ooh. again? It does. Nice. Yeah. For gaming. Oh, I so, can't. You can't so manually add inspiration. Five times in the next one. Yeah, fire damage. Hey, I can do that. Technical trouble. Is this time just up a five all adjust him? <laughs> no. At 1.5 times damage on a fireball is pretty big. True. What's next in the chain? Fire or... Quick. Do... Oh, Brandon. Light map. Oh, not lightning. Chat. Uh, Fire no force lightning. lightning. Fire force or lightning, yeah. They can do fire. So can I. can do a lot of fire. Yum. How's, how's Guillaume handling it? Uh, red-faced. In more ways than one. <laughs> Squeeze. <laughs> Wait, how many more turns do you reckon on Vic Lee before you choke him out? Two to three. Jeez. Yeah. Depending on um, how he rolls with his um, effects. Yeah, he really just can't can't do much except continue to try and break out, eh? Oh my god. Disadvantage, baby. Oh, that one's scary. Was that one a <laughs> Oh, oh, it stays the same. Oh, 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 oh. Fuck. I like lose him for a second and I just struggle back into a lock. Just, no, the fuck you don't. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, just to remind him, he does have legendaries if that's helping him at all. I don't uh, know. He can't it. use any of them. Yeah. Because he's restrained. Um, he can't use yes. any of them while he is in this predicament. 
Uh, also, that difficult terrain template that's there from Katrisk's spell is well gone. Well and truly gone. Not that it matters. Yeah. <laughs> what right. ice? Nope. There's plants grown over it. <laughs> Melisandre is the is the problem now. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, she's low on health, but she's yeah. still Trixie. She's Can I low. cast Firewall yet? Uh, <laughs> I, I seriously, I I, I want to do a Firewall in a ring. Time. Just like yes. firewall in a ring with the damage Sorry. side on the inside, and because it's difficult terrain, she like can't leave. So <laughs> circle my tent with firewall. Oh, firewall. Yeah, yeah. Around her, if you it wouldn't. Yeah. Walks line aside because she's gonna probably hold personally again. Fucking joking. 123 feet away. Well, that's what I'll do <laughs> next turn. Oh, I see what she's going for. If she's going for a spell. I'm going to be attempting a mist cast. What spells? I think it's a spell. I think it's an art. Mm -hmm. I can carve you. It's just using the fuck deck, is which that? is still a fair bit of damage, but like which deck? Yeah, I thought it might be this one. Good luck. Am I save. blocked because of Unvic League? No, it's a, just an oh. art. Just choose a. I think you just choose a point. It's a range. melee attack at extreme range. Yeah. That's She's cool. folding space to cut you. Oh, yes. yes. The armor, ah. the shield is relevant. I told you. Never mind then. She's uh, only got one play like that left, I think. Not forget, I'm still only Stars. single concentrating, so yeah. I'd have yeah, advantage so have anyway. Advantage. That's good. Uh, yeah, it could be. It would have been a tough one because it would have been like forty two. Hmm. All right. I reckon Triss goes after Melisande. I agree. Anyway, I mean, goes after is a generous word. Don't get too close. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, he's 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 got a. He does like he wades through the grass. He's got some good, like a con save AOE. I don't reckon she's got great con. Just stay outside yeah, of twenty feet. Just just stay outside of twenty feet. Uh, I said, I don't think anyone other than you flyboys boys can get that close in that amount of time. No. <laughs> <laughs> we are locked down. I'm going to freeze the tent as well. <laughs> Stop the fire. <laughs> save, save the tent. <laughs> Old snap. Oh, fire will go well after this. If Damn, shame. Damn. Yeah, actually, did it evasion, so... No, technical. it didn't, didn't technical, sadly. Um, it doesn't happen. So I could use. Um, what's that? Where's that ability that we were talking about? You could use either Arcane Surge, or if you're within 30 feet of Gloom, you could use Draconic Roar. Arcane give Surge is a bonus action into. Very. It's quite good. We should be using it every fight. What is it, sorry? Gives him. Four extra sorcery points gives him advantage on con saves, uh, concentration checks. Sorry, I guess uh, I could use it now. I mean, you might as well. You it's just the bonus action resistance to spell damage. Oh, that's that's nice. I have active effects oh. on himself to give him resistance to spell damage. Ah, uh, geez, arcane surge. Why is that? Me. Shouldn't that be one of the like apply to self? Yeah, I thought it would apply to self, sorry. Gotta go check the um the It'll always there. apply to who you're targeting unless it's specifically set otherwise. Uh, that's me. Where is the end turn button now? I mean right same place it's button. always been, but or... yeah, it's also up there. Yeah, mine's disappeared actually, it was there earlier. I can't see what at the top of my screen. Oh, is in right. If you hover over the top bar this should Buttons. Right. They're should buttons. Sandor. Okay, so do people want me tucking some big fire damage at Guillaume or attacking with bad cover yeah. against Smother Sandor? I mean, try and hit Guillaume. He might go down soon anyway, but having him be lower in case he does break out is That best. would be good because I'd, I'd like to do my fireball on Melisander because it's so by a wall, sorry. Because he's like. More open. Mm -hmm. Um. So this will be like an extra one and a half times damage, right? Because of the stacks. Mm -hmm. Cool. 
So that's he plus will... 12d6. You will probably save. <laughs> Good chance. Well, Actually, dex do... isn't too high for him. Uh, why is it another technical stack? So that's a two funny. times technical stack for cold or radiant. Spoils! That can't be right. No, that's a concentration check. No, that's a con check. Mm. Can't see what he... How much he failed. Oh, yeah, I can't see the fireball at all. Yeah. I can't see it. Does appear to be burning. Yeah, Remember so it's this. Got a two times uh... technical stack. So radiant or cold damage will do. Risky's up next. Guys, they're only made icons for up to plus four. <laughs> you gotta stop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you wanted this. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna type my Sunday. She's twenty three feet away, so she's within my gloom circle, which means I don't have disadvantage. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna, be gonna, be gonna go to town with her with some arrows. Uh, attack. Could try and roll. knock her out with the Ymir effect. Don't leave some bloody health for me. Yeah. Ooh, so, one d six from Fave foe, two d six from Marked, and that's it. Um, to do the damage again. No oh, piercing. Third, third attack. Misses. Oh, mate. She's yeah, so low. Next turn, if if she lives um, next turn, can you use your um uh, rune effect to try and knock her out? Flying over here and dropping down to the ground. And then coming back up five feet. So that I reset my save back to DC. Give your wings a momentary break. Five. Okay, jeez. <laughs> I was meant to be with advantage, but so I'll just roll with it again. Okay, yep. So it still stays at DC five this turn. Still have a bonus action. Um, can we actually have a look? I probably could have used an art or. Uh, end a turn on the ground to reset the DC. Oh, okay. Just end on the ground, I guess. I'll end on the ground. You can probably hide in this stuff. I think it's light obscuration. Sure, I'll bonus action hide. <laughs> Mate, you're in gloom. Of course you can hide. Yeah, in gloom and with yes. the waste high grass. Where's stealth check? That one, yes. excellent. Very nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm not finishing behind you, Jack. Me. Lovely. So he is Love that. Um... I guess technically, oh, they might be too far. Is there sixty feet between them? Uh, I'd have yeah, to be go, way just closer go to the for that. Plan, just make sure you've got the range. To, yeah, to do I was it. just thinking because she's quite low. If I made a wall instead of a ring, I could maybe hit both of them. But I'll just go for the ring. Honestly, you'd be burning me in the process. Uh, don't push. I could make it not hit you, but nah. Yeah, just focus on Mel's just her. I mean, as long as the, as long as long as the rolls are in my favor. I'll take out Dior either this turn or next. Favor? Maybe I'll just favor? be in your favor. Your favor? Uh... I am going to go pray to a small shrine. Uh, gonna... It's going to make me do He's a wrong a template. Shrine. I'm just going to put that there. But basically, 20 foot sphere around her. Ring. I'll be. draw it. Um, excuse me while I get the basically, template. So cool. Are we playing my tent again? I think you're getting your tent's getting <laughs> <in> yeah. <laughs> Twenty feet. I love it. <laughs> I'm so sad. It's just this wall just whoop straight up. Is that twenty foot radius or twenty foot diameter? I can never tell with that. Twenty foot diameter. Well, I'm realizing that my backpack would have That's been the tent as well. Is. So rip so yeah. ten foot radius. Ten foot radius. That's a lot of tools. It is, yeah. Uh, ba, 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 ba. I mean, the tools could be recoverable, but That's I think better. I'm going to owe you after this. So the entire inside of the circle will be the hurty damagey side. And that's yeah. the... I think it only damage. happens on the start of her. Start of her. If she's not in the room. I believe. When it, yeah. when it appears, each creature in the area must make a deck save as well. As yeah. in, in the walls area. Yeah. She's not in the walls area. She's so on the side of the wall selected by wall. you when you first cast yeah. the spell. Sure. Whoop. Yep. Oops. All right. Uh, That's a big damage on 5G8, by the way. Goodness. I don't have anything else fun to do, so I'm just going to make him make another athletics check to uh, get more suffocated. Right, like that's not fun already. <laughs> it makes me happy, that's for sure. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, wait, he doesn't break out. It's just, it doesn't break out. It's just a fail. He's, just, he's not getting choked extra hard this round. 
how he's many? Got like a, he's got a hand in there, like blood. Yeah. Also, how, how many? How many ones have we had so far? Uh, he's failed keep... the. He's only two he's a... that I've made him do so far, of this check. So how many? That's four points of con. Plus so one for this turn by and default. When does that? When does that go in effect? At the. Uh, let's go back and have a look at Strangle real quick. Well, so he should have disadvantage minus three because he's got two layers of disadvantage. From Hex. True, from the Hex as well, yeah. And the Menace. So, he so this would actually pass then. Good shout. If you succeed, the creature begins to suffocate and he's choking. Current Warmaster. As an action on your turn, you can force the creature to make a con saving throw. Oh, fuck. We've been doing it wrong. Right. Nice. Doing what wrong? The actual process of the additional strangle. Okay. Yeah. So, so what's put it in tap. I'll put it back up. Uh... Which means that. So he's so he started suffocating on your second turn. Yeah, so there's been so he makes like two con saves against your strength check. I think my athletics, yeah. Okay, so do we want to just redo that now and do yeah. those two con saves versus yeah, you have two strength flex checks? Yep. Yep. So I'll make two. One. Yeah. Two. Okay. Are those con saves with the correct bonuses? No, it literally says on his sheet what the bonus is, and I click the button with that bonus, and it decides to not do it. He's probably getting these then. So, first one... Um, Where are we just adding? He Five. meets the DC. Second one, he does not. Okay, so that reduces. That means we've reduced the number of rounds that he can before he falls unconscious by three. Total, yeah, because the number turns past yep. that fail. Yep. Okay. So is that three as of the strangle now? Yes. Okay. Uh, I guess resolving. At either the start of the round or the end of his turn, it doesn't really say unless the. Well, it'd be when you make the check. So does the first strangle? No, so does so the initial strangle count as a check? Like, no. So what a, it is, I think. I think, I, think, I think we're misreading it. So he's strangling, and he's been strangling for two turns, right? Suffocating. And the amount of time that he can continue. Uh, Before falling to zero. Is has been reduced by one because he's failed one of them. Okay. So he's been suffocating for two turns. One, uh, yeah. So he's been suffocating for two turns, and the okay, amount that yeah. he's yep. he can suffocate for has been reduced so by one. Effectively, he's had three turns of suffocation at this point right now. I think we I think we don't do effective. We just talk to sure. numbers. He's been suffocating for two turns, and the amount of time he can suffocate for has been reduced by one turn. Whichever way is easier, that that works. So that makes sense. All right. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I do. And he'll be and the suffocating started on that's a all he, turn, that's, so all that's, she when wrote. It, that's when it will resolve. Yeah, it won't resolve on his turn. I will remember to use my effects and features. It's at well, whenever he, whenever it ticks over, it's at the start of his turn that he drops to zero. I'm gonna yeah, keep okay. targeting yep. Guillermo del Toro yep. because um, I have hex. <laughs> if um, you can if guiding bolt radiant, him, yeah. radiance or cold damage. damage. You'll do three times the amount of damage you do with that guiding bolt. Is it three or two and a half? He's got. You're hmm. already concentrating on hex and can con Oh wait, whoops, wrong spell. So he's got three stack. So yeah, we were three. at. Oh yeah, so he's at two and a half. Sorry. Yeah. Wait, isn't um, it? And this is with advantage. I did, yeah. did one point five, so this is now two times damage, though, right? No, we already had two times. It's now is two this, and a half. Is this with a negative two? What was the two? Yep. Can you move to no, I think we had one and a half. The one and a half yep. was, was I the fire have... damage. Oh, nice. so it's, it's uh, shoo, 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 shoo. What's the situational bonuses that I need to add? So work out. 1d6 um, from Necrotic. So, because like, my fireball was plus 1.5 times, there'd be nothing since, so it'd still be at now plus two times. So, so what was what's your... Right, right, right. I understand. Uh, so, how much base damage radiant are you doing right now? 5d6. Um, add double what you'd be doing. So if you're doing five, then you add a ten. So add ten d six. Up to ten. Or so I'm add adding ten d six. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I don't need to specify. Mm -hmm. And that's it. 
Once you hex, but yeah. Yeah, normal. Shunk. It doesn't say um, no, damn. Ah, uh, insta chain. Unlucky. Um, and then, uh, can, uh, how do we add the ability to be like, he has, um, advantage on the next hit, or is that it's a status? To hit him again. He's glowing right now. Mm. Wait, Guiding Bolt, he's glowing. He's radiant technical. Oh, yeah, automatically technicals. <laughs> when it hits. Oh. So that's <laughs> Damn. Nice. So, yes, he is branded. It automatically technicals. Okay. Sick. Um, so, fire force and lightning on that one. I'm at a big fire. We're cutting out, and I was trying to ask questions. Anyway, it doesn't matter. My turn's over. We, we know what you were saying, yeah. I don't know what you Fox were saying. Fox is just watching. <laughs> Why have we teleported to the middle of nowhere? All oh, right, there was a woman there. Oh no, there's still women around. Shit. Try yeah, to break out. out. We will still have All to right. do it. This is still. What if we just run away and the women's are like. Excellent. We'll have to get them. So, uh, start of her turn. What's wall of fire? What kind of save? Um, so, I. Put it in chat again. I'm it's confused the with the wording of it. So it says when it starts, if they're in the area. So is it in the area of the actual no. fire or yeah. the whole that. thing? You've gone past that. That's happened. Yeah. It, she did not need to do anything. Yeah, figured. It's when she ends her turn or if she enters the wall. So she's got to end her turn and then there's no save. It's just take 5d8. Okay, I understand. Unless she enters the wall, then it's save. Oh, unless she leaves this area. She would try to hide. Ah, I see. And that teleports potentially, or is that a moving? She's got some sort of teleporting thing, maybe. Mm. Mm. Regardless, she's out for this round. In terms but there's of no save, something. she just takes the damage by the looks of it. Is she um, ends her turn or ends that's a bit, possible. she does move. Yeah. If well, she teleported out. Let's look at that. If Could she, she do that without vision, seeing? She couldn't, but she also teleported. She has no restrictions feet. on her teleportation. She can just teleport 30 feet. Hey, can I do that? Uh, become a Mithril Inquisitor and we'll talk. Okay. <laughs> uh, my next character. Uh... Shame. Well, you could just, I would just pretend, think about just dropping concentration on that. Yeah, well, if, you, if no one's going, obviously no one's going in there, so. Yeah, shame. It'd be nice well. if I could move it. We could push them. Following Wall of Fire. What a powerful spell that would be. That's a lot of movement <laughs> considering the difficult terrain, goodness. So she, she made a high check, yeah. Fair. Whoa, okay. This is since now you've witnessed it. She can phase. Hmm. Shame. Stealth check of 22. So having teleported there, we don't know she's there? Like, what's the go with knowing where she is right I mean, now. She's, yeah. uh, she's, no, she's not obscured by anything, so... Uh, so I can't just see her then. Sweet. Yeah. Frosk. Damn. The Battle of Trisk. <laughs> yeah, Trisk should avoid dealing damage to Gwilm, unless he can do fire or... Um, lightning or, or force. You can, can do, do arcane moat. Does that roll a dice? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. It auto hits and then. Will that screw things up? Technicals. It depends on what you roll technical dice. Yeah. So if your first dice rolls over half, then it increases It'll the stack. First dice rolls in half, then the stack finishes. Is it safer to just not do anything? Uh, well, it'll do you have any hit. big damage? Uh, force or fire spells or lightning. You mean, look at or the ice lightning. boy. Does he have any fire? <laughs> I think he's just gonna not. You can he can hold his action to use um, use it. Like if the, if, it, if someone attacks and the technical fails, I'm gonna yeah ray of hold ray of frost for when um the technical status goes like nil. Okay. Okay. Why does 
Oh, it's the same city. I'll, I can chase Mel Sunday down if you want to fire. Um, yeah. I only really have Scorching Ray left as fire, which is a lot less effective. It's technical working. So I was going to shoot at hell with Scorching Ray. I mean, it's not. I mean, you're doing two and a half times the base damage of of uh, um, Scorching Ray. Range of the or one ray. <laughs> I mean, it's got three rays, so I could send like the first one or two at her, and then the last one at him potentially. Hmm. Sure, that's true. What's the range? One twenty. Excellent. Good plan. Yeah, excellent. So you said, do you have to decide when you cast a spell? That's yeah. a good question. You shoot all three at once. Ah, uh, in that case, um, do I just send two at her one at him then? I think. Yeah, so. sure. And your attack against him will have double advantage. Right. <laughs> hey, this time it actually did its thing. She is then prone and unconscious. Bonk. Uh, well, I don't know her anyway because we already decided it was yeah. doing. Are you rolling? Um, are you rolling? Just like straight DM to DM. Rolls or something? So we can't see. Yeah, I'm not seeing. I'm not oh, seeing it's it on... in chat. It's on self for some reason. Okay. Whoopsie. Hold on, let's change it after the testing. Uh, yeah, let's reveal that to everyone. Yeah, you got a crit. Okay, you didn't sound very like you got a crit. <laughs> um, see so yeah, that there's a second attack at her with disadvantage now. Um... It still hits. And the last one, him with double advantage, is that? Yep. He is glowing and restrained. Yikes. Damn. Where's the plus three on that? It's a plus one. There's a plus three, attack right? rolls. I forget the rules like an idiot. Yeah. Okay, so we reckon she's dead? She's at least unconscious. Do we want to, do we want to confirm that, I guess? Should I just go and try and finish her off? Fucking necker. Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Mutilate the bodies. <laughs> Fly up. I'm not like this. 20 feet. And fly over this way. And I'm going to make my attacks uh, against her. They'll be with just one layer of disadvantage. So I'm at 33 feet, which is. Um, you can add to my spell attack there. You tell me, mate. Cool hits. I should. Would I be able to tell with my favorite foe she's dead? I guess. I don't know. Would you? I don't know. You can move it when an enemy. Would dies. I? When an enemy dies, I can move it as a reaction. Uh you can move it as a reaction. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I've already made this attack. <laughs> Whatever. Uh. Move it as a reaction onto Guilhom and make my. F uh, it's just can I do fire damage? damage? What what damage can I do? It's radiant, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's still. Yeah. Uh, I can do lightning. That works. But it's only one d eight of lightning, one d six of lightning. So it's probably not worth it, right? It's still worth doing it. I mean, lightning lets you then finish with a physical hit. Yeah, this would be my last attack this turn, though. So lightning would go... Um, I'd be From 1d6 lightning, it would be adding 2d6 and 1d3. Yeah. Do you want me to do it? Do it. Go. Do it. What does lightning get back into, sorry? Physical. Any physical. Bludgeoning, piercing, slashing. Yeah, but who's doing that? I mean, on Vicklick, could you know, give him a punch? <laughs> Instead of just continuing to choke him. Um, is that... Yeah, that is doing good. Good. I gotta build an unarmed strike into my. So, advantage plus again. one. Uh, that will be a crit because I'll be critting on 18s with advantage. Okay, so. So, that would be a piercing technical. 
Pissing technical. Um, still does the big technical chain damage, though. Yep, still does the lightning damage. Um, Good thing we didn't have a plus five. 1d6. I don't have marked, but I will use sneak attack. And 2d6 lightning. This also triggers Trisk's condition. Plus 1d3 lightning. Jeez. And critical hit. <laughs> Trisk can react to this effect. So I'm. <clears throat> 81. This will screw with thing. Matt's timer, but um, I'm going to I'm going to cast Ray of Frost. Frosty rays. I've solved my mystery, by the way. Scorch Ray of Frost. For some reason. Uh, yep. And sure, he'll roll the inspiration. This will deal technical damage if it hits. It does not. Oh yeah, piercing and cold. Huh. Yeah. Right. That Astrid. was really very cool. Oh. Um, Why not? Unlucky. You can either move closer or further away. There would be a plus one to that, right? I might no, update the no the stack um, icons to say the the multiplier instead of the like, plus you... one. Oh yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I'm just within range of him. He is no longer. Do you think I should do heat metal? Um, um, do heat metal on his shield. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not the armor just because that's kind of I'm funny when he's getting grappled. <laughs> do heat metal on his shield then, eh? Um this has gotta be like the first oh yeah, I'm dropping concentration on the wall of fire, so I'll delete that. Cause I'll need the concentration. How... What's the range on heat metal? Sixty Eight feet. And I am fifty nine feet away. <laughs> 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 just like reach my hand over like <laughs> Um Normal. Cool. And that's all I can really do unless, well, no, yeah, that's it, eh? Alright, I'm gonna need him to make a uh, con saving throw. Just bonuses again. Whatever he fails. Nice. <laughs> How are you not out yet? You fucking resilient bastard. He's now at the point where, at the limit of normal humans, if he is one, at the start of his turn, he would probably pass out. Yeah. So he's been suffocating for three turns, and the amount of time that he can suffocate for has been decreased by two turns. Is he still holding on to his shield? Have you, Just to uh, check, he Mel hasn't had his turn yet. I I can safely say that the blue hair lady not not a target, right? Yeah, she did. She, she did. She is downed. Has been hit by fire again while down, but you know we don't talk about that. Yeah, so I, I, I put a couple of arrows into a corpse. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was about that part. Before I re before I realized. <laughs> right. And did we? Did yeah, we I'm... make? Sorry, did we actually make use of the um the double advantage? Actually, yeah. Yeah. He yes. will drop. Cool. He will drop his shield. It got There's me a crit. A it, it turned my regular attack into a crit, which then meant I did like tons of lightning damage. That's sexy. I you think I'm gonna bright lance. It's identical then, which is unlucky, but you know. I have not bright lance for a while. I'm making it one attack. anyway. Does breach do anything for us effectively? So it becomes three d four plus your necrotic, no, doesn't it? Oh, nice. Sorry, 3d4, right? So that will, because it's a crit, it should auto-apply the branded technical. Very nice. Necrotic. That's not how you spell necrotic. Necrotic. What happens if you type in a damage type that doesn't exist? Uh, it just treats it as the same as the base damage. Okay. That's what happened when we tried to do things with like blood flame and it didn't oh, work. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um everyone went robot. That worked that worked correctly, right? Beep, burp, beep, 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 beep. Beep. Yep. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hi. G'day. Hi. But um Gilda. Yeah. You rolled really poorly though. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he says brutal rolls. Get lost. 
Um, branded, you say? Branded. He'll do a Eldritch Blast. Oh! Blast! Blast! And remember his... So he has dropped his shield? Yep. Yep. Oh, let's see. You love to see it. Still Don't misses. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Hey. So extra. It's a D five. Does not chain. I kind of figured with that roll, all that damage anyway. Uh, does he fall unconscious? Or is Start he still of his turn. Him? Well, does he fall, hit the zero, or does he keep going? Right. But unbroken. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. That's pretty cool. Reese's puffs, Reese's puffs. So how does this work with the suffocation? Uh, well, he will continue to suffocate at the start of each of his turns until he gets out. <laughs> so next turn he will also drop to zero. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> That's so gets... I need to I don't need to keep suffocating him. I do it anyway. Yeah. He tries to break out. Okay. I say yes. no. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Unbickly just on top of this dude, just two handed choking him. So and I've he's got... just wild eyed, like. <gasps> I can actually show you the technique that I would use in this context called an arm triangle. You crush their shoulder into their neck, cutting off the blood flow to the brain. It's pretty nasty. Nice. Anything sounds nasty if you just mention brain. I guess if we keep damaging him now, anyway. Because he's on like 6 health now. You're just going to burn through all of his Valor dice. That's like what has to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, just keep hitting him. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, no, is it... but don't burn your resources too hard. We still have two Wyverns. Was yep. Planet Growth concentration? No. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we end that spell? Is that a thing? Nope. No, <laughs> it's a permanent effect. It's non-magical once it's been cast. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's spell. Why would you do this to me? Spell? What spell? Out of it. <laughs> Is there like a vines kind of look picture here? Are getting flashbacks to Nipple Hill now. Also, it's Trisk. <laughs> yeah, that's where, that's where I got the idea. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's a Trisk's turn. Yeah, it's Trisk's turn. Just focus, just do damage. What was yeah. that place even called? The All Nipple of Barovia. <laughs> of... ah! Why is that so dark? It's called um, Yester Hill. That doesn't sound like nipple. Does that drop him to zero? He got. Uh, it doesn't. Oh, he got one, one at one point. I was like, he's close enough that it might just work. He drops to one and then heals the amount he rolls. Well, I guess I'm gonna target him and make some. Hey, what's the range? Yeah, fifty-four. Oh, actually, no. He does. He does have one less hit point then. Um, I guess I'm going to make some attacks. Did you? Um, all advantage because he's restrained and shit. Mm -hmm. I should be oh. this thing again. Did do uh, it didn't apply any damage to him. Huh? I don't know why. Because he is targeted, and force damage was put in the box. Weird. Check your... Oh, hang on. Let me check. I think I know why. Is he marked as dead? <laughs> no. Uh, it's very hang on. I hadn't considered before, but bloodying the creature and then choking them out is very effective. Yeah. Yeah, I never thought about... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know actually why he... Without uh, water. Uh, that should have reduced him to zero, at which point he... Oh, it's not even applying when I try to do damage to him. He's too tough! Oh, yeah, that was frozen. Ah, that was good. <laughs> nice. <laughs> hey, Matt. Mm. Is that a refresh angle, or is that a Maybe certain less angle? Technicals. I will try refresh. <laughs> Maybe less technical. <laughs> 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 Shove at my end. How dare you suggest it? <laughs> uh, 
well, yeah, the time. I just realized we're not paused with the time to the. Yeah, I just paused that as well. Pausing. But but I paused it. It I is blame the mm-hmm. uh, I'm going to refresh yeah, too. <laughs> it was the effect of the plate growth. So you Matt bragging about not having IA net outages in his country. Meanwhile, he serves us up this server. <laughs> <laughs> this thing <laughs> garbage. Tokyo, I go. Go. Yes. Okay, it seems to have recovered. All right. You know, well, it's working perfectly on my end. Why you got to reload in, but so we'll see what happens, I guess. So what are you doing with your hands right now? Hmm? Oh? Rolling these max D6. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. You're shooting force blasts. How are you shooting force blasts, sir? Uh, from my gauntlet. Why is okay. that stink? All That's I'm resolved. Just, I'm doing a second one as well, but I'm not managing to reload yet, so would you mind doing that for me? And then it's like ending the turn? Uh, nah. Don't yeah. wanna. Anyone else getting the mad stink effect on that giant circle? Yeah, yeah, stinky. It's the plant growth. It's the plant. It's oh, the plant. I guess. Oh. You crit him. Congrats. Woohoo! Ooh. Dude, like seven damage. Not that it matters. <laughs> cool. Oh, wow. okay. technical, mate. Does have to get... Oh, yeah, it does. Four, te- four technical. See, though, Kowalski makes me think of, like, a really um, Jewish version of the Hound for some reason. What? <laughs> I absolutely hate fire. <laughs> Healing three. <gasps> Lots he's, of people name their beaten, sword. but unbroken. We are Lots of people that I don't like. We will break you. Man, imagine this dude if he had uh, had actions. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrified by that. Oh, we're back in now. What do you mean actions? Cool. Jacob, uh, rather than... I can't have those. I guess. He's actually not allowed. Cool. Hey, forget about it. Hey, you know so, those actions? <laughs> don't worry about them. Cool, I'm just gonna fly closer. I like you like Mithril Inquisitors? Thick Guess what? Boy. I have no status effects on her right now. And... There's just this massive row of them. <laughs> Make some attacks against him. Oh, right. um, just shooting straight down. Just doop, doop, doop. Yep. Uh, just normal um, hits. Actually, yeah, yeah, just normal hits. Misses. Shame. Insane no attack. Advantage. Uh, actually, yeah, I, I do have advantage. What I'm saying, I was like, oh, yeah, I don't have advantage. Do have advantage. Um, cool. This will be sneak attack. Hey, I thought and the girl had favorite blue foe. Blue I blue don't blue. have mark on him anymore, which should have reapplied. Um, Ooh, so yeah, she has red hair. That is all. On this oh, in the track. Oh. I get it. Final attack. I think he's. Oh yeah. He's out of out of blood. We'll go through the. Right. You've reduced him. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just once. Why am I not selecting him? Plant growth is. Has he even yeah. had like yeah. any sort of proper action? He's made one legendary action and he's taunted someone. Here. Oh yeah, no. He, he, he buffed himself, but then we just. Oh no. Said no. Oh, A lot no. more healing that time. Yeah. Oh. Um, Matisse erratic oh, This is like Boromir's death, but <laughs> even more horrific. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lack of hobbits. Just to think they were like totally gonna no, just no. ignore us and be like, cool, we're going for this guy, and then we just turn around and be like, surprise, motherfucker. Uh, so that's a cold technical because I use the cold cantrip on him. At the uh, at the request of Luckner, we committed great deeds of violence. <laughs> it was appreciated. I so, violence. so why'd you do it, fucking head? Oh, Did you guys hear it by the way? To like when the heavily armored dude appeared out of right. being invisible. Sorry, so are we still attacking him? Yeah. Yeah. It's not done yet. So uh, I don't think you added. Sorry, no, no, he's on one health. Um. Is he still holding his shield? He didn't drop that? No. You can use your bonus action to hit him with a fire thing if you want. Was that and no to him still holding the shield? Sorry. He's not. Oh, yeah, you're right. He dropped He's it. not holding the shield. Thank you. Um, so don't worry about that. The shield's just hot. Nobody touch it. I will. You can only use cantrips. Yeah, toll the dead. Remember, it's D12. Yeah, you know, technical. Oh, Frigid and 
it's free to go Let's into. See what that does. Oh man, come it's on. It's D12. It's not a D12. Man. Okay. It's the other formula button. You didn't even make him make a save first. <laughs> Before you all get mad, it only has one button that says other formula. Can't do well, nothing that about that. Because you've you've broken wrong. your spell when you tried to edit it. <laughs> well, I did what you told me. I wonder me. if it's because you put a bunch of text in there that shouldn't be there. <laughs> I want to see what this one looks like now. Well, do you want to make him make a save? I want you to fix your spell already. <laughs> How is it still broken? I did it's exactly what you told me to do to it. No, you didn't. You kept a bunch of text in there that I told you not to. What kind of save is it? Whiz. Yeah, whiz. He probably passes. What's your DC? Uh, spell save that added DC. added his bonus that time. 17. Oh, um, oh, wait, no, I didn't add his extra bonus. <laughs> that added his proficiency. 16. 16 oh, is yes, a fail. 17. So it's 3d12, which I'll roll properly now. Oh, that matters. He's on one hit point. Yeah. Well, so fuck you. That three damage. Therefore. There we go. Hey, is my man out? He's got a lot of hit die. He just keeps coming back. <laughs> He's <laughs> so resilient. I think he's fifteenth level. So <laughs> this is the this is the most fun feature of Crusader. Is you just I don't get knocked know. down. Like, I, get get up again. Again. I get knocked down. Um, I'm like, gonna continue. Like, just go. This looks I like a good making him choke. Oh, I'm gonna. He, there's no need to make him choke. Just, just attack him. I don't have an unarmed strikes on my current character sheet, eh? Well, it's just a proficient oh, hey. strength check for you. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I think you're choking him, so you try to knee him somewhere, or, like no. kick him somewhere. Headbutt, obviously. True, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Does Unvicky yeah. have horns? No. And you have advantage. But that'll it doesn't hit. matter. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a crit, man. What's the? What's your what's damage? It's oh, one, uh, plus plus strength. one plus strength mod. Okay, so. Six. What happened to the crit with unarmed? Nothing. Wait, you're you're holding him, oh, right? Can you like shove his face into the shield? That would be funny, <laughs> but it would, him, it would make him prone, <sighs> which would mean that everyone who's ranged attacking him would have like, much worse of a time. Yeah, everybody. Uh, well, I could do that again, so I'm just gonna. Excuse me for. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that didn't work that time. Ah, oh, that misses. Cool. With advantage, David. It's an attack. What is it? He's restrained. Mm, okay, whatever. Who's restraining him, though? Hmm. There we go. If you didn't add your, your mod, but that's fine. Wait, Still what eating. track is playing for you guys right now? Something with violins. Invader. So, yeah, he does yep. another six <laughs> damage. Invader. I only just had my music working, and I was just, like, yeah, not right, expecting... That's, that's me besides <laughs> Yeah, Unvicly did another six damage with his second attack. So, what's our gameplay going to be for when these weapons come back? Uh, I'm just going to go back to being a normal uh, barbarian, I think. I don't what know because I'm sitting here stuck in play. So, gross. I have oh. an idea because we we still have a bit of time, I assume. Um, okay. You'll get yourselves out of there. Team, you okay. you might have to show game out. Um, we could do it in a way that I. I'm so dumb. Prepare to cast banish. We drop Are the you old. Enough to take your turn though. <laughs> banish and Sorry, then. I just realised that swing has been playing from my. I don't know why, but my YouTube music <laughs> fell onto it, and I was like, "Why the hell is swing music playing in Norse?" I guess I'm not going to mock the DM, but sorry. <laughs> you would if it was my playlist. I can't express. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't express how bad that was. My was playlists like... are flawless, man. <laughs> No one advantage. Please, please it was literally like horns with mutes going like. I'm um, still advantage, right? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Still restrained. Oh, I've lost connection to the server. Nice. Just read oh, it. Hey, you got to crit. Right, you crit him. <laughs> Any? I can't see the technicals. No, nah, uh, just roll damage. He's on one. like. Oh, he's actually on 10 hit points. An extra oh, yeah. D2. The base of this is going to be 10 because of crits without which blast if you do nice crit rolls. Do, sorry, did you say an extra D2? Yeah. Remember to click crit. Also your hex. And the yeah, hex. D6. 
Yeah, I did hex. Cool. Oh, nice. Perfect. Thunk. How many more dice <sighs> you got, big man? Dude, nice. The song, was, the yeah, song I was one. playing is called Tommy Gun Shuffle. Roll your second attack. As well. Oh, crap. Sorry. I forgot it was, I forgot it was Eldritch Blast. I started blasting. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> we actually got him in this grapple. This swing, like, totally threw me off. And you do an extra D5 this time because you you got a technical stack. Mm -hmm. Nice. That worked. That's that also stack. another Triple technical, technical stack. So technical one up to point seven five. Oh, that was a half and a quarter. I was so confused why swing music was playing. Another one. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, oh. Uh, Lochner will do the same. Uh, Maybe he'll get a hit this time. <laughs> I believe Come in you, Lochner. On, Lochner. Yay. 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 Wait, did he do? Did he use the technical stacks on that? No. Jeez, mate. Remember the technicals. All right, so we'll just burn through two. Actually, unless the first one heals enough. Does yeah, still on two hit points. points? Yeah, just two. But that's yeah. really cool. Crusader is pretty sick, but man, it's good this guy. <laughs> yeah, it's just this is forever to get put down. Crusader, based on the history of my characters. Well, imagine if it was actually dealing damage to all this time. It's so yeah. annoying. Yeah. Out of his turn, he drops to zero. <laughs> My God! Uh, and he tries to break out. <laughs> uh, I can just imagine him like literally purple in the face, but still going. Oh! oh. <laughs> He's yeah, out! He's out! out. <laughs> that was his <laughs> action, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! We don't have advantage to hit him. Not like this. Uh, the grapple him. Yeah. He what? He has now? legendaries to move yeah. though. Yeah, he'll use his legendary. He won't move on the ground, though. <laughs> Wait, so it's what, 19 AC to hit without advantage at this point. Okay. Yeah. He's still got movement and bonus action. Yeah, he can't really do anything with his bonus action. Yay. Just clock him in the back of the head. Knock him out. I'm going to do it. If he moves out of my reach without doing it's something It's going to be funny else. if he goes out he of dice finally and Tony move. breaks out. Right what is that? That's a that's an action. He's cool. Used his action. That's very good. Kill him, Trisk. Right, <laughs> Please, he's, he's out. Free, Trisk, he's, he's out. He's broken free. Finally, his last death throws. He's, he just takes this massive gasp of air. <laughs> it's like red. It's literally like throat. that last bit where where you're trying to catch Pokemon and the balls like shaking. Yeah. It's like the last one, and he's <laughs> doing. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Safari Zone. <laughs> And they use some more mud. We're in the long grass too. Uh, but that uses feeling... proper bonus. <clears throat> he like breaks out and just gasping and just like <gasps> nods. So that's a restraint, isn't it? If he failed that cold snap, or did he? What does he add? Um, he failed to add. No, he added it. No, oh, so he's restrained again. Did he? Wait, what? What the fuck did it add to his bonus? Oh wait, no, his con is reduced because of yeah, uh, yeah, 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 cool. He's bloody, so, so he's got correct? reduced. Yeah, so he's speak just like um, he nods. He's like, it's finally time for a little bit of payback. And no, no this is cold snap, snap doesn't restrain. Cold snap doesn't. Uh, cold snap doesn't restrain. But he's still going. Yeah. Never mind. And so yeah, yeah, he's still not. Haven't gone down yet. Does he use a legendary at the end of Trisks? Uh yes. No, don't do that. I'll pause while I figure out what he does. So you will do that one. He's gonna do Why does it want me to target for that one? I guess he's... Ooh, Second level or lower, okay. It's not, not too bad. It's still bad. Because he could use, like, a big healing art. Oh, no. Yeah, but he's not going to. 
Now he's going to try and kill me. Go for ball. Ugh. Is range on that? Not very big. Um, <clears throat> you being twenty feet up is probably gonna save you here. Poor Karmic. No, Karmic's gonna be helpful. He does. Okay, sixty feet. Sixty feet. Okay, who's within sixty feet? Oh no. Um, you, you, you. Oh you, no. Oh you, no. You. you. You, you're 59 feet away, Ostrich. <laughs> it Please. bites back. I said that arrange each time, mate. Walk in and out. Uh, I did not target Trisk. There we go. No, he's only targeting my hand. Can't target just... Hathlin. Yeah, Alright, good luck, Estrid. <clears throat> oh, no, I can't do that. Nope. Oof, yeah, nothing. Why are you gonna target my wisdom, you bastard? Twenty-seven. Uh, cool. So Mal saw this. This is a nasty. And Estrid uh, succeed. Wait, you guys fucking rolled shit. Yeah, <laughs> That's the hell. We had a negative um, one in there. <clears throat> Yeah, he shouts for a uh, retreat, and his guttural, choked-out voice makes you all think, like, oh, shit, oh maybe wrong. maybe it's the new dwarf guy, or uh, or maybe that was Unviklig with his raspy voice. So <laughs> this is like command, <laughs> yeah, so we do yeah. the order and we don't do anything else. Yeah. So is it like, would I have to use action to dash to run away, or like, uh, just... You attempt to pull back from the fight as best you can. So are you cut out for me who failed? Everyone uh, except Mal and Estrid. Yeah. You. Yeah, that. Cool. So, well, I guess I'm taking the action dash and moving away. Not that you can move very far away. <laughs> Go towards the edge of the circle if you can. Yep. Can't yeah. move myself anyway. It's okay. He's done the 60 foot reach for the next round. Have Len. Do some damage if you can. <laughs> so, it's on my turn. I take that. Does he have a bow? No. Oh, God. No, he doesn't have a bow. You haven't given him anything. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I told that. him that he could take a bow from the cart. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, why are you moving 50 feet? Because I can fly. Your movement speed is 40 feet when you're flying on your character sheet? Uh, you are currently encumbered? Uh, my backpack should have been dropped. I forgot to say that I dropped it, but sure, I'll move it to We're going to mark it as weightless contents when you do I it. can't. That's it doesn't. It's broken. It doesn't have a button for him. Yep. The buttons do not exist anymore. This is this is triple dashing then at forty feet. Um, oh. Except for the last one, I'll use to touch the ground. Uh, and then I'll drop my backpack if that's okay. <laughs> In this location. Oh, I can't mouse and I sort of like, what the fuck are you guys doing? <laughs> Why are you listening to him? What? Ground. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, I love true. the idea that it confuses me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I see him fucking do it. You just get scared because he's finally free. It's like, ah, oh, shit. Yeah, your wisdom has failed. Else, can't like... uh, yeah, it sure has. Esther, just hmm. kill him. Please kill um, him. So, should I, like, all out wall of fire again, or should I? No. no uh, it's just... like, pew. All yeah, I have is told the dead, so I can. It's like. One big damage, that's fine. Good. It's lots of small damage that is good. Right. Yeah, we Toll the Dead is fine, and then get out of range of an ability like that again. Okay, so once again, it's only got other formula, even though I fixed it without the text. So, your move. Tell me what to do. Ah, uh, fix it. Cool, I'll do that <laughs> fix later. It, fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Can we get to it, it after it. session? Like, you can sort of show us what's happening? Yeah. Um, well, make him do a save. Whiz. And I'll just roll that. Not bad. He passes, oh. so I don't think he takes any damage. No damage. No damage. Mm. Didn't yeah, move out of range. Bad. And yeah, I'll move back. Yeah, then retreat. 
um, whilst also yelling out, just in case it helps people not be confused, that was him! Don't get tricked! The problem is Ooh, it's chaos and tricked. confusion on the battlefield. Um, at the end of Estrid's turn, he'll use a legendary action as well. Yeah, but what if he didn't? Uh, well, then he would use it at the end of Unviklik's turn. I think it's Cauldron still here, by the way. Hey! Um, my shield's on back. Yeah, it's all set up properly. Beast marked bastard sword. Okay, I can't parry. Oh, can I can I? I don't have any armor or shield equipped, so I can't parry this. You have a weapon you, out. You are still raging. Oh, yeah. no. You don't. Yeah, I'm raging. Uh... It's just gonna hit more than likely. Yeah. This keeps my rage going though, which is nice. And then another instance of that. Out, out, concentration. What are you concentrating on? Did that prompt two? I don't think so. I uh, should have prompted two. On the art, which is the aura. Unnerving aura. Right. Uh, yeah, he shouldn't. Which keeps him a disadvantage to hit now. Yeah, it should have oh, yeah, he does. Oh, oh, yeah, he can... yeah, he does have disadvantage to hit because of the aura. He is unearthed. Would have hit it anyway. 24. Uh, so, yeah, and a second con save because it does two instances of damage. Do I... That's kind of cool. Let's roll a con save. Yeah. Cool. And now you may take your turn. Cool. Uh, he ends his turn, which means he takes a tick off. He hasn't ended. No, no. It wasn't his turn. It's your turn. Right, shit. Uh, I don't really have any other better way to do it. I'm gonna you can fly. jump up in the air. You can still probably use a back out art to get away from him. I don't have a back out art. The barbarian. Barbarians don't back away. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, why can I not move myself, sir? Yeah, Jake. When did you use the barbarian? That's a timeout. Right. Go fly, you fool. Fly, you fool. <laughs> Uh, Mel, beat him up. Larkner retreats. <laughs> can he move away from Mel? He yeah. can. He just is disadvantaged by it. Ah, uh, true. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Sorry. He's like scr screaming in Irish. <laughs> Not Irish. Not Irish. Yes, he is. Mine's that's really been cutting in and out with voice. Are we meant to still be in initiative? Yes. Yeah. He's not dead yet. He's just messing with us. Okay. There's yeah, also sort of damage. damage. So, just the time it wasn't going up, and I'm like, am I lagging? It was paused. So, Mal was, yeah, Mal's fine. He can continue. You don't have advantage anymore. Okay, Mal. Well, look. Is that bush in the way of my vision? No. You're tall enough. We'd love to see it. If he was in the way, you wouldn't be able to see him. No! Yeah, the next shield's still hit, hot. Surely. Hey, you turn it to the shields. Nice. Hey! Yeah. And you still got your hex. Eldritch Blast! I'm starting to get way too close to these weapons no coming back. No. My liking. No, no <clears throat> technicals? No technicals. No. Just do your hex. Yeah, how many more rounds before they come back? He's On still up. The Damn. end of your turn and round 10. Round What's the plus one okay. in that formula from? Rod of the Pact Keeper. Ah. Is yeah, that enough to drop in? Nope. Fucking hell. The fuck? So far away. Right, his turn. Do, 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 I do love that he's like stuck <laughs> in there. He could probably still hit us with something, but. You know, here you use vacuum cough. Oh, wait, I landed. I would have fallen back to the ground. Mm -mm -mm. Why won't you die? Uh, 
Well, there's no reason for him not to do it, since he's it doubles go, his initiative. He's going to go sicko mode. Oh no, he's going to reorder the initiative. No, Duffel was the duplication. Okay, this is... So he's going to get resistance to damage, but... Yeah, resistance to everything. Given the amount of health the Doppel will have, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, but if he doesn't go to zero and gets health back instead, how does that work with Doppel? He can just keep using it. When you defeat one of them, they like fade out of existence, and then a second one. Women. The other guys on the I'm not saying, it, do you still count as defeating it if he doesn't actually, if he like heals back instead of going to zero? Um, I'm going to try a restart. Um, not just a reload. Can can you? Is it okay if you do Trisk, Osborn? I just, sure. I can't hear most of the voice. All, right, All I'm going to say is both of them will fit inside a firewall. Just remember that we still have two full health withens to fight. Yeah, which firewall is not going to be great for them because they'll just fly out of it. Yeah, but you could have other high level spell stuff still. Yeah, firewall's not. Well, like, you can just teleport as well. Like, like, I, I don't think. Fire... You just, banish you is the only other thing I've really got at high level unless I mean, I'm you up can casting, banish so... a single wither so we can fight the other one. I can still do that even if I cast firewall. That would be cheeky. <laughs> It's more like Wait, big no, damage he's doesn't he's help you that much. Do do that? Big more damage more is the not damage. Help. You just want. But if they're stuck damage. inside it, then they'll keep taking damage. Yeah, but they won't stay inside it. They, they will do there that. Are lots of teleporting. He's arms. doing something. No. Is he healing? Is he healing his like? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. I love that. Um. Ooh, it does apply to both, but it's the one on the right who is defending. Uh, we know which one's the original one, and does it matter? I don't think it, it doesn't matter. Okay. What happens if he doubles while in doppel? Uh, he can't. Okay. We're not dealing if someone would have multiple fourth level art slots, what would happen? <laughs> Yo, Trisky Biscuit. Mm -hmm. Run away, probably. While killing him at the same time. <laughs> no, Trisk has storage rates still, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. He can't, he's also uh, got Arcane yeah. Surge, so he can. Alright, oh, he's. He runs. <laughs> well, and so which one is defending which one? One on the right is defending, the one on the left. The favoured foe one is defending. So I guess we just shoot at the one on the right then? Uh, well, first. Oh, is he doing oh, shit? Don't do shit. Bah. He'll just do one of these. Uh. <laughs> Does he have to stay next to the guy to be defended? He moves with him. He moves with. He's part of the defender. About as far as he can move. <laughs> They're attached at the butt. Plant growth, plant growth, plant growth. <laughs> yeah, to use this way now. more often, this is great. Go ahead. So what's Defender doing? Was it reducing damage of some kind? Yeah. Reducing all incoming damage by three. And they have resistance. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess we're just going to shoot Force Blast. Wait, it's... Um, I've clicked... I'm targeting him and it says 55 feet range, but I tried to cast, like, use the thing. It says it's 62 and a half feet. Weird. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. The math is going from the center of your token rather than the edge or some nonsense. No, it shouldn't be. It was 60 feet. Estrid like, was fine with it. She was 59 feet away. Maybe uh, I'll pause and try. You try a refresh while I see if it will let me do it. Sure. Huh. Weird. Does it work for you or not? No. Hmm. I guess we oh, increase the range just, temporarily. Just move. I moved you like 2.5 feet. Well, I'm still in the process of refreshing. Yeah, it, I'll just it, roll. It, yeah. Well, yeah. You're at, no, you're Nothing special here, feet. just you, you make attack. Yeah, just two attacks happening. Cool. Well, first one appears to do no damage. <sighs> nice. Get bigger than a... Appears to do no damage, or just is in, or is the, the spells not working? Uh, the reduction it's not a spell. of resistance plus mitigation. What I'm asking is, are we saying boundaries broken, or are we saying in combat it appears to do no damage? In combat it appears to do no damage. Fair question. 
Yeah. But due to like damage reduction and then halving, etc. Yeah. Never lucky. Did you do both? Um, yep. <clears throat> oh, oh, my rage is gonna end. Nah, you got hit. Yeah, that was before my turn. Okay. Well, you can just do it again. Yeah, I can. I mean, it's fine. We were close. Were you doing anything else, anyway. Sandor? Um, so that was movement and action, and I got like fuck all both action stuff. So no. Cool. I should probably get out of the way. Yeah, so we have to target the so one with the uh, I mean, paper, though. Whichever one you target, it'll always it go to the one anyway. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and because they're the same creature, it doesn't matter. So if you're within range of the closer one and not within range of the other one, then, like, yeah, you can still target the closer one and stuff. Cool. Uh, I'm going to bonus action dash so that I can... Get close enough to get them. Let's turn my... down the opacity on that. There we go. Yeah. Get them. Thank you. Nice That's way better. I like these um cold snap zones as well. Uh, so he's in yeah, one, that one's definitely gone. <laughs> I mean, they're both gone. They're both like one turn, right? Hey, I'm gonna attack. Can you put him to attack? Run out of designated ammunition. Fucking hell. Uh, well, I move to. Iron broad tips instead of steel broad tips. Which I have a fucking Buy all of your steel arrows. Can you put him to sleep instead? Is that relevant? Yeah, use the... Yeah. Sure, I'll use the Ymir rune. Let me give it two seconds to reread it. Um, when you make an attack, you can choose to infuse a attack roll damage as though you had crit. Um, takes no damage, but if the number is rolled, he's foot asleep. Cool. Uh, so, just a normal attack roll. Crit. Um, do you want me to just do damage? I'm just going to do damage. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, I didn't say it was sneak attack. Actually, do you do sneak attack after you hit? So I yes. can just say. Okay, cool. Um, that's the only bonuses I've got into this. I was just thinking if you could slate both, then that could be quite useful. I don't know. I think so does asleep. he. What, what happens as a result of that damage. attack? That wasn't a sleep. That's just a regular attack. It's just yeah. damage. Because okay. I rolled a crit naturally. I mean, resists uh, and reduces damage. It did one point of damage to him. What? Did one point? Mm hmm. What? How? Uh, because he has very high damage reduction at the moment. That uh, is absolutely ridiculous. I just did 30 damage. Okay. Another attack. Normal. I'm going to do the sleep. So I roll damage as if it was a crit. With my bonuses, I assume, for my rune here. Mm -hmm. And if it exceeds his max health, then he falls unconscious. Oh. He does fall unconscious. I still got a third attack, if that's okay. Sleep the other one. Whoops, that's they're both asleep. Thing. Okay, cool. They're both unconscious. Oh, okay, works. good. Uh, Actually, would they both be unconscious? Status effect this instance. Both? Quick, kill him. Uh, no, the one on the left is not unconscious, we'll say. But the defender effect is no longer active? Uh, yeah. Cool. Well, in that okay, case... Well, then I do my final attack on the, the guy who was defending. Easy. Which hits, and I'm gonna... Wait. Roll crit damage. With the inner room. Sleep! It. Uh, it doesn't seem to be appearing in chat despite the fact yeah, that I just pressed like... it. Is that a hit? It says hits, so that's it, yeah. Uh, and there was an Ymir rune again? Yeah. What is it? As I'm targeting it, it says no targets. I'm not using my reaction. Oh, it's not my turn, so it's saying that. Yeah, it is burning through my turn time here. Wait, so you're making another attack? No, I'm just I'm just re-rolling it because it didn't appear in my. So this is just this is my third attack because I got a third attack. Anyway, that doesn't do damage. That just sends him unconscious. Yeah. Okay. We'd already resolved that. So yeah. Almost like, well, sorry. Um... Yeah. Anyway, sorry. Go. Because he's on sleep both, but yeah. Okay. Your turn. Estrid. Cool. We're done. Um. Toll the dead. 
So damage damaging them will wake them up, worth noting. I'm not sure I want to work Ooh. with this, but yeah. I don't think we want to wake them up without big damage. What do we think? What do we want to do? I don't know. Do, do, do we want to prepare a... Um, do, we, uh, do, you, do you want me to not do this? I think so. I will not I do think that. Um, well, there's not much else I can do except to walk up closer to you guys. But... Did I already move on so, my turn? Yeah, I did. Yeah. When we're thinking, like, what is our plan right now? We've got two turns and a women's come back. Like, what is the situation? Like, um, how are your situation? So I'm going to say I'll try to get close to you guys and let off a vital surge. So we're all nice and buffed up. And um, I don't think we're taking damage. Yeah, no, but it's, well, it's good to overheal. So. I'm taking two damage. What do you mean? Um, yeah, so uh, I'll do that to whoever's close, and then hopefully I'll try get back down near there. So that I can prepare banishment for the round when they come back in, so that I can immediately banish one. But then we only have so to fight yeah. one dragon. You don't want to prepare it right now. No, not right now. I said the I'll, I'll get there to prepare it when it comes back, like on the minute mark, so to say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah how are we just gonna leave these other unconscious and hope the women don't wake them up? Like, what's our plan right now? <laughs> I think we want to we want to kill them. They're low on health, mm -hmm. but um, yeah. they're resisting a fuck ton. They are resisting a fuck ton. Anyway, no, we auto crit if we're within that's five me. feet. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm just crunch them. I can do that. I'll be saying, yeah, get close to me on the end of your turn, so I can try to do a heal. All right, my rage ends. If you're not, yeah. Uh. So attack rolls have advantage. Any attack within five feet is a crit. Do you want me to go hit Automatic them? fails, strength, and dex saving throws. It'll be neutral, though, from range? No, I'm going to go yeah. up and hit them. Because they'll be prone. Oh, yeah, and I'll drop concentration on the fucking heat metal shield, because that's useless at the moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, go in and uh, prepare to, like, do, like, hold to do a grip assault, I reckon, on whichever one you want. I can... There, drop you still there. marked one. There we go. I'm group assault that one. I can't reach him. Okay, then maybe not. Uh, yeah. Doesn't matter. They're both. Yeah. Uh, well, I will hold to group assault the one that I can reach. And uh, yeah, that's me. I have to remember to not. Wait, is it the end of round ten or the start of round ten that they come back? It should be. It'll be on your turn in round ten. So would it be round ten or round eleven? Oh, it's not how many round eleven. How many uh, yeah, can yeah. Assault this one person again? Yeah, yeah, ten. Or yeah, yeah, eleven. Should I get in or should I just shoot him from now? Yeah, how many can group assault? What was the rules on that? bonus. Four. So four. There's a limit depending on the size of the creature, though. Oh well, uh, I can't even run in. I'm just gonna shoot him. Uh, but then he wakes up and gets a turn. Can I hold my action to shoot after the group assault happens? You can join in with shooting with the group assault, can't you? Can you use a cantrip on the group assault? You can use anything that lets you make an attack roll on a group assault. Okay, what's the size limit rules on this stuff? Oh, so we're Let's on. Go find them. Yeah, so just hold your action to join in on the group assault. Okay, I got it. Then. With a so cantrip. Really How many really can for me? Hold your action to join in on the group assault, and you can use a cantrip. Um, four creatures can join in the assault here. Mediums for one proficiency for also. Okay, I will group assault. Like I'll wait for it. Ooh. I'll probably be the one triggering the group assault. Oh, he coming back. Bloody head man. What the dog doing? Would it would have been funny if the women came back while Locke was over there and he was beaten up by the women. <laughs> Did they even notice something that small? With an Irish Risk. accent, definitely. Should Trisk join in? Or... I mean, I'll join in. So if he prepares to just go afterwards, I guess. Yep. Yeah, if he... Trisk. Yeah. 
He's gonna arcane. Wait, no, damage for sword stuff. He's going to. They they automatically. I think he's fail... gonna magic missile. They automatically fail dex saves while unconscious, so you could hold a dex save for the one that we're not targeting, and cast it after we've woken up woken up one of them. I think most of these are con saves. I'm just going to... Arctic Breath is Dex. Yeah, but he's... Like, not... Uh... He'd, like, maybe be able to get Guillermo del Toro. Uh, sure, he's going to hold a in Arctic Breath so after the group assault. On the one Shoot. that remains unconscious. Well, he's not going to be able to hit both, so... <laughs> yep. Oh, wait. Right. I see what you mean. Uh, prepare to join the group of sword, I guess. Yep. So that's three um, so far? Or is it four? Three so far, and I'll be triggering it. I'll be the fourth. Okay. So as he's currently asleep and prone, it's neutral to hit, right? And then the following one will be disadvantage? Uh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, I should do this one. Yeah. I'm not used to turns being this short. <laughs> I don't like it. Mm. <laughs> don't worry. We'll get there. No, he won't. He's not Swather. He won't get there. He's not built to get there. Hey, I'm going to stow my bow, and I'm going to cast uh, Shadow Spear as a bonus yeah. action. Shadow Blade as a bonus action. Shadow Spear. Um, and I will summon just a regular Broad Spear, so it's got Keen. Um, cool. Uh, and then I will move... Right up next to the fellow. Um, and then I will use my attack action to initiate the group assault on this guy on the left, who's the one we are targeting. Um, so Dallas, we do this. We... what were you using in the group assault, Dallas? Did I have to mention in advance? It was probably uh, just going to be an Eldritch Blast or something, wasn't it? If Yeah, if it's a spell, then you'd have to be holding the spell, so... Okay, I didn't specify. Um, I probably would just be Eldritch Blasting. I was, but I was considering um, Guiding Bolt. Yeah, Ooh. I'll just Eldritch Blast. So I can't like because well, you have most blasts for the round. Of it. So what's our bonus? Plus four because there's four of us. Two damage and hit, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Okay, and this has double advantage because he's in dim light. And it auto crits. Sweet. Wow, it auto crit. Auto crit anyway. He wakes up to uh, searing psychic pain. Uh, so it does the regular psychic damage. It crits. It's a sneak oh, attack. Such a um, does it? Do they both count as favored foe? Uh, yes. The guy yes. Okay. Whoa. Um, and that is the big one on this. Oh. I didn't add the damage, the extra damage, so plus four to that, sorry. <laughs> He's on one hit point, it doesn't matter. Cool. <laughs> okay. So he's uh, going to be down for the rest of our assault, basically. No, because uh, he's no, still got the... Just, again. just immediately heals. So whoever's next in the line, do we want to go and click next? Okay, You're next. right there. It's a psychic technical. All right, so I'm going to... I can't... I don't think I can take advantage of psychic, right? Because that's... Piercing uh, works? Piercing. piercing work? Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll use that. Uh, so this is... Just regular is advantage. Uh, yeah, because he's prone regular advantage. I mean, Won't auto crit, of... though, because he's not unconscious anymore. Are our attacks simultaneous for the purposes of like working? Like, how does this actually work, mechanically? What? For like technicals? Like, not, like more for... Does he heal between each thing? Or is it like we all make attacks that he as like one of the things that he heals up? Like... And this is... No. 
Is, he's prone. Are you this just isn't... making attacks like normal? This isn't yeah. a critical. This is just a. No, I used the critical, the auto crit. Yeah. Sorry, and I also rolled a crit. So. Damn. Beautiful. All right, next cycle. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Dallas, next, then I'll go last, I guess. So it will be a disadvantage because he's prone. Yeah. Dallas? Dallas? Cool. Yeah, so attacking the left one. Cool. Doesn't matter. With disadvantage. Because he's um, prone. So he's but plus four to hit. Nice. <coughs> and four to damage. Four damage. And I still damage. have my um, necrotic on this guy, right? Yeah. Next. Oh. Plus four. Uh, what was that number you said before? Four. And then I get my second shot. Um, not no, yet. not yet. No. Next is mine. We do one attack each. We take turns, you see. Wait, as like it's you the still same get attack, the second right? shot, but you're not doing it now. Okay. It's like we're we're just yeah boom 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 just... boom 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 boom. Yeah, I've been waiting for this. Wait, hang on. I've actually got that, haven't I? Nice. I've been waiting for this. Okay, my turn again. <laughs> Advantage because he's prone, and advantage because he's in shadow, so plus. Yada yada, that's it. it. And then plus that's four. That's a good one. <laughs> Not a. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a crit because of the plus one from the double yeah. advantage. Shadow broad spear. Nice. I mean, you have to do seven damage. I think you were going to manage it. How many cool. wounds has this guy accumulated? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> a lot. Um, David's up. Alright. There's another psychic technical on him, so I'll, I'll injury action damage. Technical spree. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> technical catastrophe. Who is this? It's the Halo announcer. Nice. No, but who's playing it? Yes, That's me. And so I'm assuming no one went to this, this effort, except Matt. <laughs> just, half, just half. Half from technical and plus four. So another D. He's got two oh, hit points. Off. Stop wasting time. Alright. <laughs> Surely we've burnt through them. Dallas, you're up. Oh my god. Ah, How many did he had? He had, he had damn you! He, didn't he have like 15 or something? Haven't we burnt through them by now? We've gone through so many. Do more than ten damage, please. I mean, Guys, just in this round of attacks, we've already done. We've already gone through oh, six. One more strike in me. I don't. I'm out of oh, strikes. That's like exact hit. I'm pretty sure. I yeah. Don't you die? Nice. One on the left. Yeah. Vanishes. Oh, oh. Nice. I can't so, reach the other one. Shit. So this Wait, I can. Just now. Hmm. Does the result end on that then? Uh. I guess we're targeting one creature. It was against the left guy, right? So the, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, group assault has ended. Yeah. There's no um, way we're just taking a stack on the other creature now. With that part of group assault. No, he's effectively a second creature. But. Okay. Your purposes. So it doesn't it doesn't use your trigger, which was to attack earlier. <laughs> um so yeah, I I'm right. I'm done. So Estrid, your turn. Ah, well at the end of my turn, does he want to use a legendary? So Actually he's not awake. Um, yeah, he is. He, he is? Damage. Okay, but Trisk Trisk's ability Trisk Trisk goes off. Trisk's attack. So he did Arctic said breath. A magic <laughs> so he said Arctic breath. Thought you finish oh. your turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Octobreath. Um, can you use... Yeah. He won't automatically fail. And Actually, does prone? No, prone doesn't auto-fail, does it? I don't think so. So did we confirm if it was my turn on round 10 or round 11 that Dragon's... Round 11. Round 11? Oh. So... And he's doing the. This Inquisitor yeah. is so strong, and he's doing this while high. I'm impressed. 
Uh, okay, I did add his bonus. Wait, wait. yeah, okay. Uh... <clears throat> Chris killed him. Is he dead? He's unconscious. Can I use Finally, Can I move my David foe as a reaction? What do? There's no other targets. No. Okay. <laughs> That's what you move to. Save, so you might not beat him up some more. No, <laughs> a, a bug on the ground. <laughs> no, nice me. Okay. Is it ever right to beat him um, up still, wall down? Uh, yeah, I think like when Vic League tries to. All right, guys. Think, uh, are you gonna be able to move towards me so that I can heal, or should I just run over and get ready to do my thing? You should run over. I think. Yeah. Don't enter the uh, the field of no return because when we um, fight the wind, we have there. to fly. That, that's why I'm saying, will you be able to come to me to get health within a turn, or should I yeah. just yes, no. yes, everyone except I'm, like, I'm so far away. I'm like I'm six turns level. away from getting out of the spot. This well, field look, as long as like majority of people are getting, Duncan. yeah, like it'll be like turn fifteen when I get out of this. Um. I guess I can't move, but I'll hold my action till the end of my turn to cast Vital Surge on whoever's near me. North, you mean to the end of my turn? Yeah, the end of your turn, sorry. So I'll be here, that's within range of Mal. So you're concentrating double right now? Uh, yes. Cool. Yep, so I'll do that when it's his turn. All right. Uh, Next turn. I'm uh, going to at the end of your turn. I, if you don't have the full the movement, then I've got the movement too. I should be fine. Cool. I you only need to get to like. I'm gonna here. just just leave. Stand up. Stand up. Mate, I'm going to try to you know like a moment of a warrior's salute on the sword, and then just swap my like pull my blade, switch it to backhand, and just slam it down into the guy. Yeah, advantage auto crits if you hit. I want to punch people if I die. As my next Very character. consideration, thank you. You don't need to worry about any of your damage. Oh, yeah, but you fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Come on, guys! No one affirmed my meme. I I put effort into that. So that was uh, good. I don't, what was it in Dirks? Oh yeah. Come on. All right, uh, oh, and it. then I didn't get it, but I liked it. I'm just. Oh, gonna, a record of I don't know, but... Do you have your second attack? I do. Might as well just keep it's only two because that saves, you know? Oops. You... <clears throat> Oop, that's the circle to get inside. We're, we're, basi we're just stabbing him to make sure, you know? The Earth Elemental stomps on your, dead, on your head to make sure you're dead. You oh, stab him please. through the chest, through his mithril plate armor, and you see, oh. like, him, his eyes just, like shoot open for a moment and he just coughs up blood and just like locks eyes with you and uh -oh. you just hear him just gasp oh, not death curse bad. and then his eyes roll back uh, I give him what do you say not bad <laughs> uh, and then I'm just gonna you made me use 1% of my power good job <laughs> What's there? You're oh, just yeah. within 15 feet. There's 15, that counts. Cool. Yeah, on my way. <laughs> yeah, sick, no worries, you'll, you'll get in. You're, you're, you're not concentrating on Hex anymore. You could consider using this turn to bless, if you want, Mel. So it's basically just... Um... We're buffing pre the Wyvern fight. Um, now to fight with. I think everyone needs to kind of get near me we kind of are one don't walk too far away uh, i can kindly win vic league estrid and myself Actually, i think okay. i Rip think bless is four cool, right oh bless is three by default yeah but i have to upcast it ah uh, true yeah, yeah, yeah. wait I no i only have a third level spell so i don't think i'm gonna bless anyone you done it you done fair yeah lock less is blessed then easy I'll yeah, inspire Karnlik. Mark now also only has third level slots, so... Mm. No blessing? 
Sad. No blessings. You don't get blessing. <laughs> Wait, does Hex require your bonus action to keep up or something? No. You can move it to a creature after you, the one who okay. dies. It keeps saying, you've used your bonus action in this turn. You've done it. Yeah, but you have, mate. Yeah, you have, though. Sorry, did I apply the active effect? Here we go. He's inspired. Wait, mm. wait, you mute your anything. Actually, if you maintain concentration on the Hex, when the Wivens come back, you can just yeah use your bonus action to move it to them. Yep, yeah. So I have two spells I'm concentrating on. Right what do you, what do you con- what's the other one you're concentrating on? I don't think Trisky's doing anything, but he'll... He's holding to cast. No, don't, don't you want to come closer to Estra to heal? Wait, sorry, I, I moved him too far. Why come are you closer. going that way anyway? Don't move him that way. Are you on the left? Move him to Estrid. Well, he He's probably too he... far. He's 30 he feet away. Healing. He'll get, but none of us it's, need healing. It's, it's over-healing. over-healing. It'll increase Whatever. his max health. And we also want to get him out of the out of the. Is he even in range? Yeah, he can dash. 22. Just to be yellow. 17. Oh, unlucky. Can you take a step to the right? Oh, it's just gonna go no, because the red action was to cast at the I need end of Karnak. as Karnak. much movement yeah. as I can to get close to make sure I'm within 60 feet of the drew. I'll, sh- yeah. I'll shove him. <laughs> I'll, I'll shove him 5 feet. Or we'll just action, pick him up. Uh, Diagonals suck for... Yeah, Jesus. That is a full turn of movement. Athlan can cut, try and get close enough to Estric for a heal. Nope. <laughs> right That's very reasonable. He knows the dragons are about to come. God, it's going to take us an hour to pull the fucking cart and mules out of his fucking pants. <laughs> it will. Um, okay, so... I'll do both of us at the same time, David. <laughs> yeah. So that's I'll that... fly... To behind Trisk, and then I will shove Trisk. Um, does do I have he to make an attack out? roll, or does it just work? Cool. Is that close enough? Matt? Um, Matt, is Trisk now close enough? Hold on. Have you got you, yes, 12. Nice. Cool, and then I will bonus action dash and fly to you. Cool, and that triggers my vital surge. And end the turn. Well, it's my turn again. So that goes well, your vital surge will go off first, and then you'll get a whole other turn. Wow. Wow. Normal. Then I get another 2d10 for me. So we heal 23. You heal yeah. 23. Or over heal 23. Uh, and I get another 14. We so... need to manually do it against still right? Uh. I assume, unless any of you were damaged, that would have healed you. It healed me some. This value yeah. is being modified by an active effect and cannot be edited. Disable the effect to edit it. That'll be the well rested yep. thing. Yeah. Uh, excuse me while. Well, Max health or something in effects. Do you mind if we have a. 37. I can't edit my health. Yeah, Where whatever. Is the pop up showing up? It's not a pop up, it's just you can't actually edit the box if an effect is changing your health total. Have a look right. at your active effect. I'm confused because Mal's like, it's on his sheet. Huh? You've got 23 extra Oops. max health. I just oh, added actually... that yet. Oh. I say yeah, I don't so remember. So he can't edit his health, is what he's saying? Yeah. So, like, I just did it then because the other way, if you don't do anything, it just doesn't let you touch the health. So I'm adding 23 to the max. Oh yeah, you have to do that first anyway. Yeah, I'm like, what? I I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> yeah, you have to type. You just in done 20. it, so. Um, you, you have to type in 23 to your max if you want to go over your max. That's how it's always been. Yes. So, so, um, I, this I know, I'm not, I'm just recently as well. Um, mm-hmm. if I had an effect that was changing my actual HP total, like let's say tough, then I couldn't actually apply any max HP. You can't edit the right number of the HP, but you can put numbers into the max HP box underneath it. Um, it didn't work for me recently, but yeah. Right. I don't so... know. That's, that's that's definitely not the case because everyone has something affecting their max HP all yeah. the time, which is well fed. So, yeah. yeah. Um, do you mind if we take a break, like, DM, before we continue ago, but... on with Wivens? Well, what's about to happen next? So, um, um, I was just trying to confirm. Do we remember roughly where they were? There will nope. be about. 
I'm, I know somewhere around here. Year, but yeah, year ish. I think what we do is we 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 allow we wait until your next turn. We wait for them to come back naturally. We just position. Yeah. The next turn we're just going to be repositioning, and then they'll come back naturally at the end of your next turn or at the start, one of the two. Um, at which point you will attempt to automatically rebanish one of them. Yeah. Well, so one? I'm kind Big of <laughs> all right here then. So if they're going to come back on the start of my next turn, or the end of my next turn. I mean, I can just choose it to be either way, I guess. Yeah, you can. So next turn, I'll just unbanish and yeah. banish. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that'll mean I have movement, so I can... I should be able to get to them as long as they're nearby And then here. you want to get away from the one that's left. Yeah. But yeah. I'll stay here for now, and, we'll and that's what we'll do. So Wail on it. Yeah. Okay. That's me waiting. I'm not prepping or doing anything. Um, Do people yeah. want to take a break then? Sure. We quick one. Yeah. I mean, sure. I feel like it'll be fairly relevant for this next part of the combat. You've got a whole turn to move to the edge. It's just really like to get to the edge, mate. Right. Jesus. You get there. And he really needs more than a whole turn, but hey. You'll, you'll be out of it for one turn. You'll be there for the second movement. So 60 feet gets you to out here. Yeah, and then one more turn to get out. Oh, no, it's maybe less than that, actually. And then one I more turn to get out. For this as well. We did say that there was a little stretch near the river, but I don't know how it's been captured. Anyway. Oh, right. check. Oh, how long are we doing? Oh, DM's not here. <laughs> oh, rip. I'll be back in a tick. I'm of two very strong feelings right now, and they are, a, they are a perfect juxtaposition of holy shit, we have so far survived, and damn, I'm really sad you didn't get to play with more of your guys' toys. Oh, I mean, there's always more toys. <laughs> We gotta update um Andrew's like player icon. Great. Mm. 
<clears throat> Do I change my icon to Lochner? I mean, it's basically already Lochner. It's pretty close, yeah. <laughs> Oops. Here we go. <clears throat> Here's your like basic diagram example of what I did to the poor guy. His own shoulder cuts off the blood flow on his right aorta and my arm cuts off the blood flow on the other side. Ah, uh, you were giving him a hug. Yes. That makes you gay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the real winner? <laughs> Mate, you ain't seen nothing in terms of how unintentionally gay this this kind of wrestling can look. Unintentionally. <laughs> but I'm sure there are people who are out there trying to make it look gayer. Look gayer. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? <clears throat> I'm just glad he got to break out at the end for a bit. Yeah, that was pretty cool. It was like this moment of, oh yeah. Oh yeah, no, he's still very strong. <laughs> I need people to appreciate that this guy is rolling higher flat averages than me, and it's only through, like, a lot of luck and a flat advantage that we're even getting close to keeping it up. So, how many rounds did he end up lasting? Like, before we hit the, the choke threshold? Uh, four. That's pretty realistic. Huh. <laughs> Crazy. <Not bad. laughs> Why do I hear a timer noise? Yeah, because the timer's been counting up. Is the... Right. We'll just reset that. Man, the, the one instance where he pulled even... That was, that was real scary. <laughs> isn't that, isn't that funny how when you plan for fights, 
I also like that we got to the um the four stack just with like mm. bouncing back and forth technicals. Yeah, like I'll change the icons to instead of be like being the plus ones or whatever, it'll just be like whatever technical modifier is currently on them. I was surprised how quickly it actually and cleanly it stacked up, considering initiative order matters quite a lot for actually stacking the chain. Yeah, having we had a few we have a few people who can do radiant and fire and those go back and forth. That's just a pair that self radiant fire and um was it piercing cold does it links in well cold does the same thing with fire yeah i I was thinking actually within like a turn or two just be actually going that well it's like i would have thought being more people who'd be like i can't really contribute to this thing yeah and there's an option to hit some kind of vibing I mean, there was a couple of, because we only had the one target, there was also like, oh, a couple of times where we were like, oh, we, well, you probably shouldn't attack. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I was also not concerned about with it. So, um, no, Mal's not here, is he? Boop, boop, boop. Welcome back. Does, I'm not do... back yet. I'm. Man, I haven't clicked the button. Jeez. Because um, Mal has subjugate as well, doesn't he? Yeah. Also called he has also order. yeah, call to arms and execution order, which is the like crazy shit that Frodo used to do. Um, just because I'm thinking he's got one, he's only got the one third level spell slot, but he can subjugate a um, whole dragon. They have good wisdom saves, but the subjugate should hopefully be enough. Break through. Do know so I still have one whole dragon the subjugate one. left myself as well. Yeah, which will be used for the vanish. Yeah. But yeah, we can subjugate one of them as they come back. Do we want to do that? I like the idea of hold dragon. Yeah, we can subjugate the whole dragon. If we do that, because Mal's only got the one third level slot, do we want to bring back the Great Wyvern or the Little Wyvern? I'd say the bigger the better. So yeah, we want to try we and do have, The less resources we have when we're fighting the Little Wyvern is more manageable. Okay, so we probably. want to bring back the Great Wyvern. Do we panic and hate ourselves if they fly away? <laughs> Uh, I don't think they're intelligent enough to be a problem. I think they're, they're both going to come back and they're going to be like, what the fuck happened? One you of them's going to disappear and he's going to be like, what? Oh. Sorry, I didn't realize about the thing. So, Mal, what okay. I was just saying... When Vicky, your turn. My turn. Uh, I think it's Estrid's yeah. turn. Estrid ended her turn. I did. Okay. I'm waiting here right. for my next turn. Let's not let's not spend a billion years on the next round just waiting for them to come back. Please. Yep. Right. I got here. Uh, yeah. Half a billion. Unfortunately, it is. Oh no, I get one more round of unnerving horror. <laughs> cool. Um, Mal, I suggest you hold your action once you get into position to try to cast hold dragon on the greater wyvern and subjugate it. Lockner will have to be within five feet of you to do that. And just to double check the rules, because I have not cast many of Lockner's spells. That would be me using my spell slot to cast Hold Dragon yep. in my concentration. Yep. Um, I'm concentrating on Bless and Hex right now. You didn't, well. Did you cast Bless? I don't think you cast Bless. Did I not? No. Did I not? You can't, you can't, you're concentrating on Hexed. Why didn't I do that? Damn I thought it, I was, I was concentrating on two things for some reason. You said oh, it, right. and I asked you what the second one was. Like, oh, I'll, I'll do that with Lock. No, so I'm... Ho- can uh, Lock not subjugate it? Can I no. hold my action to cast thingy, but Lock not be in near me right now? Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, Hold Dragon? Oh, he is near me. Never mind. He's just so small that I couldn't see. You guys act at the, on the same time, so you guys can both move because you have to be within sixty feet. So I'd move. What, like... I, what I was saying is, I didn't think he was near me, so I didn't think I could cast my spell. 
Like, you know what I mean? Anyway. Yeah. Um, so where should we be moving, sorry? What do you see? It's roughly somewhere near Astrid and Unviklik. Should be close enough. Um, yeah. Uh, inspiration Astrid? Sure. And so just to restate... I've used my bonus action. Just to be certain you are holding your action to cast that spell? Yep, that's why I'm using my bonus action to inspire. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hold dragon, right? Yep. There's one similar dominate, right? Is that a fifth yeah, level? it's a sixth, sixth level spell. It'd be nice. And then we could have them fight each other. Yes. Play Pokemon. <laughs> How horrible. I love it. And then, yeah, Trisk can do whatever. Oh, yeah, I'm Trisk as well. Hey? <laughs> Just get him out of the circle. <laughs> He's like scrambling over these like tall um, brambles. He's swimming. You'll hold action to Ray of Frost if anything pops up. <laughs> Go Xandor. Uh, like uh, dash action. Hey, you can do some strategic pushing. <laughs> That's so sad. Wading through Blender. the grass. I will uh, throw my spear away so it dissolves, draw my bow, and hold action to make an attack against the Great Weaven when it reappears. Uh, I will like to make the attack up after Mal has attempted to cast the spell. Okay. Um, All right. Vestra's turn. All right. Hey, up here. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. Okay, we're too far away to fucking... I thought they were closer. Well, so I'm going to have to move up. So we're trying to banish... Probably here, the little one. The little one. So that's, that's my wife. 51 feet. That's plenty of room for me. Well, so I my people that we have some ideas of what the women's can do if you look in the... um. <laughs> Plans chat. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll use my last thing of subject oh, gate and last banish once again. What a surprise! Wisdom say you'll be frightened. And once again, asking. Oh. Sick. <laughs> he appears for a second. I'm going to <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> barely even a second. Um, and then... I love the idea that like you close your fists, they reappear, then you just snap your fingers, and one of them goes. Yeah, exactly. Um, oh, so I'm going to move off. Guess that way is probably best, hey? Yep. 60 feet. I'm and... going to put this inspiration because I'm going to need it. Unfortunately, I think... Uh, so Mal gets his reaction. Unfortunately, I think it's too far away to cast Hold Dragon. So I think as a result, yeah. you, you end up losing that spell slot. Correct. I apologize. I thought they were much closer. Is there I seven? hold the nearest dragon, Trisk. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, I'll pass I wasn't the nearest dragon. And then the I whole make... dragon work on Estrid. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Old person doesn't work on Estrid. <laughs> and then I make my attack. That's wax. Uh, with disadvantage. I never thought of it like that. <laughs> uh, I will not use body inspiration. You're not a person. Just um, a flex. I'll cast on Estrid for one moment. And then stop. I have nothing <laughs> to add. Eight piercing damage. Well, oh, that was my reaction attack. On the quick turn. My so turn. I've actually. Sorry, just to check. I have actually wasted my action, right? Your spell slot. I mean, if they move into move? your range before the start of your next turn, which is now, uh, so probably not happening, uh, then yes. On the quick, quick. 50... Yeah, drag him closer. <laughs> drag him, drag him. Reflex him towards me. Drag the dragon. Reflex. I don't think I can. Okay, my bonus action is to rage. Can you? Do it? No, no. What, drag the dragon? I'd have to grapple it, mate. Oh, wait, <laughs> unironically, could you have shoved me forward? No, you probably wouldn't have been able to get. Well, you might have been able to, but. Not 20 feet forward. You have to toss me. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea. I've got my weapons. On, get closer. <laughs> out, and I'm going to make a. <sighs> 
Uh, hold the door. Yeah, I'm going to hit him with a shield. Hold the door. Hold the door. Funny enough, if you had hold drag and uh, Estrid for a second as a flex, she would have dropped concentration. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I was like, I'm sure that'll have negative consequences. <laughs> <laughs> nah, mm, I wouldn't have that. That dragon would be oh, super confused though, like popping yeah. in, out for a second, oh, like and then the like data. back in. Hmm? I like your description. Yeah, of that. yeah. And I'm going to make this one at advantage because of best defense. Bam, 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 bam. Is that bam, wow. wasting my turn? <clears throat> Piercing. Now you got a turn across. next. You can walk closer and do hold dragon. Uh, that is slots. a oh. piercing technical. He is breached. Lachner can try it, yeah, but he, he doesn't subjugate. have subjugate. And I get to make one more attack. This one's yeah, but he might advantage. Still get it. 13. What did I say? Was it on Hold Dragon? Wisdom. Uh, that's my action and bonus action. Yes. So I'll have a plus three to his save because he has yeah. high proficiencies. Mm. That's... I believe. Yeah, that's me. I believe I in believe the he... he is. He is breached. Believe it or not, I have oh. nothing left. Attacking a dragon. I have nothing left. Morgan Kaido. You get Hold does good stuff against him. Do you want to try Lachna hold dragon yet before you do? Lachna will go and try and hold your dragon. He doesn't need to be close to Mel to try. Yeah. Go Lachna. Sick it's his spell. Good. Second, do Lachna first. That's what I was saying. Yeah. You can do them at the same time. You can literally be doing things as I'm playing Lachna. You I'm take just, your turns at the same time. I'm just wondering if it can inform anything I do, but I don't think it can. Oh, oh. rolled so high. <laughs> Fuck. Like yeah. I could have inspired Lochner, right? It doesn't make a difference on a save. Oh yeah, true. Well, <gasps> is he out of magic? Luck. Yeah, Lochner's out of magic as well. Damn it! Shame. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if yeah, there's literally this, anything else like could dragon do. Because the dragon didn't work. <laughs> it mustn't be a dragon. <laughs> That's what's happening. It's, imp- it's a lion. A fake beast. Uh, you need to cast Ensorcelled by Loki. You need it's to cast lion it. to us. Right, Riven or it won't work. <laughs> Are you winning? Hello again. Fine Are winning. Oh, we're just winning, come up yes, with you're like. Um, did you see what you did to that man? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're winning. <laughs> just oh, do vicious do, mockery. You, sorry, how do you move your hex as a bonus action? Yeah, just a bonus action. But you've used your bonus action this turn, unfortunately. Not this turn. <laughs> oh. ah. <laughs> sorry, I'm going to move it to the wyvern. That's a technical, right? Cool. And then one d. So it's one d eight necrotic. So you, you add a What's D2 because you, you technical chained. Force technicals, baby. The D6 oh, and critic, not a D8. Uh, well, I've been using D8. Good news, you rolled a 2. You sure it's not D6? Uh, you have, you've been using D6s. Quite a lot of effects you got going on there, David. Another hit with the Eldritch Blast. Yeah, I'm a bit angry. Oh, that aura ends. <laughs> okay. So do I need to re-roll that eight? Because no. I, I think I've been using D eight because I caught, that's like the autofill text. Anyway. Oh I well, I guess I should undo that and add some health back to Guillaume. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, I won't. I won't use the necrotic for this one then. Yeah, actually it takes add a, a sec five to, extra to check that he's no, still down. It wasn't enough to chain it. Was it wasn't. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought it was. Doesn't no. matter. I, 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 rain, watchdog. I looked at the wrong number. I looked at the six Oops. in the attack roll. Ah. There's a new yeah. attack on him, though, from this Eldritch Blast. Yep. <laughs> it's getting funky, and it's his turn. Believe no, it's not. That's the other way. <laughs> the other dragon. Scared. Frightened. Go to risk. Yeah, it's not a weapon. What do you mean? The flying away. Oh, no, uh, they yeah. don't have good decks. They've got. No bonuses to deck saves. Bro, you keep telling me about decks and trees. Do you have you read his spells list? Mm-hmm. It's like con, con, con. Probably because it's all like yeah, he has. Read that's it. why he's been I... telling you the one that does decks. <laughs> the one that's like not not usable. <laughs> Thirty feet away. Get closer. 
And don't say that to me on my next turn. <laughs> um, <laughs> nice. Alice Storm is deck saving throw, his fourth level spell. Could be good to do that. You could even quicken it if you felt like it and then <laughs> ray of frost him. Does he have the sorcery points left for quickening that still? He's yeah, arcane he surge, yeah. so he's got ah, four true. or three. Oh. Three extras. Oh. Ooh. Five. Nice. Excellent. So oh, that's that... a budgeting technical. I love to see it. Was it? And it's difficult to raid in that sphere. Someone say technical. Yeah, yes. Blood. Technical no. change. Bloodening. <laughs> Not yet. Bludgeoning. How much we can do with bludgeoning except for the psychic? It's it's done. It's gonna oh, fly. Uh, I think you I can, can make. You. You can make an attack of opportunity on it on Big League. Oh, it's As it, as it roars and then great. takes off. Uh, I can't. No, I don't have anything cool. Um, is it trying to move more than half its movement? Uh, it, look, I already know. Shut up. Okay. Well, okay. Stop uh, trying to read the future. Stop with the void bringers. <laughs> <laughs> is that what Road was? I say freaking void bringer. Mm. That's what the kill for Road. It's a slashing technical. Uh, hey, he's no longer concussed. Oh, why would you do this, David? No, it should have been... Damn. Oh, no, his head. David, why? It's a no head. But I said that as piercing uh, damage. Wait. Well, Wait, either way, he's no longer concussed. Dragon's the concussed. You, you cut off his... You cut it, killed him. You go. Uh, yeah, he flies. Because that blood is a stencil. It's weird shit. Straight up for now. Actually, it will action dash away. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, there's realistically uh, no way anyone could keep up with it or Yikes. kill it before it gets out of range. How much, so, how much speed has it got, though? Uh, it's moving at 160 feet per round. Yeah, I just, I'll just i still be able to attack it for at least yeah, a round. But you, can't kill you it will not be able to kill it. No, I wouldn't be able to kill it. I guess if it's attempt attempting to fly away, then it flies away successfully. Are they able to communicate? Well, what would we like to do then, I suppose? Well, let that one fly away for a bit and see what it does, right. and then so I the guess... Oh, special no. ability. I guess we do the little if one we, once that's away. If we can kill one of these away. weapons, we can get its scales, which are a big deal. Hmm, especially being a mithril one. No. The myth that the oh. weapon type does not affect the scales. Yeah, but they're so sick that's... looking scales. That's fair. <laughs> they droopy. To match the new set of armor that oh, we're going to have access to. White armor. Oh, that sounds very nice. Yeah, I'm, well, I've got my eyes on some first. of that. That's that's fine. I mean, I, it's not an immediate want anyway. To be like, want to have some money, I want. Yeah, look, I, I'm going to have my eyes on the Mithril, because worst case, I'm going to be melting it down or using that armor. Uh, I can like, try to... Use one of those to make another set of power armor for myself that's better than my current one. It's probably power not armor. worth it, because as soon as we do damage, they wake up. But I could try to use the the, uncon the Essence of Ether Poison, either, which, if they fail to save, he'll fall unconscious and be poisoned for eight hours. So mm. that the... The thing that we could do then is we could gather around it and stab it a punch, but <laughs> I don't know if that'll be enough to kill it. <laughs> Group assault it once. You know, that would waste a poison. So basically we have one that's running away and the other one that we're ready to pull back. It's banished. If we came over and thwacked it, it's probably got less health, but even then... Oh, we could just thwack it a bit if we, like... Get ready for a group assault as soon as I mean, we could bring it back. We could hit it with a giant hunt and we could do some big damage in the group assault. Yeah. So yeah, let's, you... let's. I'm going to bonus action dash. I'm going to move over here. Let's. Um, everyone try and yeah move to a spot. We can we can take our time because Sandor can come over too. So let's just. Uh, do, do we just want to. Do we have any effects that are going to end? I think uh, my rage will end is the only major well, thing. Inspiration is a minute, is it? Or is that longer? Is it on a the, turn? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, so it's I, 10 I, minutes. I no issue with that one then. Yeah, do we just want to say we skip forward like 30 seconds, which will allow... Five turns of sand or movement? 
Sandor to come over. The only other thing that is on... Uh, actually, how long does this last? Uh, Shadow Blade is on a minute cooldown starting from turn, uh, around 10, I think. Around 9. Yeah, 9. So at round 19, it will end. We've got time for that. That's the only thing I've got. I think we may need, like, what? Four rounds? Well, I'm not clicking the next turn button that many times, so... Remove anything um, that would have worn off. So how far can you? How how many turns will it take you to get over here, Sandor? Uh if we go move to my turn, and I can move. We can find out. Why can't I edit this number? Uh-huh. Um. So where am I getting to? Like here-ish? Yeah. Five rounds. Okay, that's fine. We can just say five um, rounds and people can... I'll go to, like, you in four rounds. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Five is fine. Um, uh, and we can just all reposition, I suppose, wherever we'd like to. But where's the women uh, rocking up? Like here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'll take out yeah. the yeah. Guys, <laughs> have we forgotten? Well, then, <laughs> yeah. look, look, okay. this, we'll, this we'll is where the last one was, because... That's where the Ray of Frost thing is, so it was only over here. It was like in between these trees and stuff. Okay. We can reposition freely. Pretty much, yeah. Um, I can't move. Okay. I might go go behind. The gloom. And we should restart. We should uh, let it come back in at the start of Trisk's turn, because that's will give us a, everyone a, a turn to do something against it. Yeah, and whenever drop. you want. And, and Trisk move a bit closer as well. Around sixteen. Yeah. Oh yeah, Trisk. I guess I don't need to. Uh, so we're to... still limited yeah, to four yeah. creatures on the um, group assault. Bonus yeah. actions so won't matter anyway. Yeah. Cool. When ever you guys are ready. Um, on Vic League, I'd maybe move back a little bit more. Always the best four four groups, I think. Or at least over my way as well. Fine. Have yeah. Go. Probably a little better there. Who is the best four group result here? Um, myself and on Vic League, definitely. Yeah, I can make big damage. I will, because I'll, I'll actually use my axe for once, and I'll do Searing Smite as well. You... So. There is one problem. You are Currently attuned to four things, so you can't have one of those. And tuned. You've is used... the rune things require attunement? Yeah, the ruined axe needs attunement. Yeah, Devin, I realized this. I'm like, uh. when is that two o'clock? I forgot to mention it. I'm attuned to like three, three things. No, but like, rune things require attunement. Yours is not marked as that. Uh, okay. What will it be? Well, and that's right. We, he's, we could argue that he's not attuned to the tattoo, but we haven't figured that out beforehand, so... I, no, I would say it would stay, probably. Um, it doesn't matter, because we're all going to get a round of attacks anyway. Potentially, does, mm. aren't we? Like, yeah, if it or doesn't or do, really we, do we want a group assault? Do we need to group assault, or are we just going to attack? I mean, group assault gives every person in as, like, a plus... Four damage per round. All right, well, let's say Sandor, myself. Let's just do the four that we did last time. Sure. Sandor, Khan. Actually, no, Khanlik's going to be throwing the ether. Ether, so someone else. He's going to try and throw the ether. Is everyone okay with that? Sure. So, Sandor. Yeah. Yeah, Sandor. Um. How many attacks do you have, Estrid, if you do your most attacks? Oh, that depends on whether I'm using my axe or not. Either way, it's oh, still you, just your one. Your axe will... Okay. So we'll Wait, do... I, I could be closer and use my um my sword. You've only got one attack there, don't you? No. Two. You got two? Yeah, well, then come closer and use your sword if you would like. Wait. I'm closer. Wait, 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 wait. We had this discussion the other day, Oswan, didn't we? And... Not you. Yes, you have to. Yeah. I'm I'm bringing the wyvern back. The wyvern is back. Buried out. Okay, Trisk, your turn. Wait. 
Just no, so. no waiting. Go. Shoot. Kill. Okay, well, I can't do the thing, the full all assault then. You can use Eldritch Blast. So you ready your action to Eldritch Blast as part of the group assault? Just fucking fireball of sorry firewall. Nice. It, this is attacking. Did we say sorry? Mm -hmm. It's got a. It's frigid. Cool. Um, frigid. Uh, resisted the damage, so no, it doesn't. Okay, mm -hmm. never mind. I I was gonna attack it with force blasts. No, you're group assaulting, mate. You have spotted group assault, wasn't it? Oh, so charging the group assault. Yeah, yeah. I I just asked if we group assaulting. Someone said no. So I'm like, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm charging group assault. <laughs> cool. It did happen. <laughs> force blast. <laughs> you said no. <laughs> I just heard no one moved on. <laughs> okay. Hathlan resolves. Hathlan doing nothing. Me. Holding my action to throw the ether at the end of uh, Lachner's turn. If the Wyvern's not dead? <laughs> it won't be dead. Uh, should I do a cantrip right, so or should I just firewall it? Because firewall's kind of all I've got left that's big damage. Uh, if you do that, then hold your action so people can see it. See. Yep. Uh, I so, can sort of do it off to one side still. Just, just very action to do after group assault. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, after I throw my ether too, please. I'll wait Wait, till it asleep? Does the wall fly wake it up again? The end of oh, Lachner's yeah, so do it before turn. I sure. That's before its turn. I will hold my action to do a firewall. Please don't get too close to at least one side of it. Right. I'll move to like Ow. here, I guess. So what is so it then gonna be Mal, myself, um when Victor and Lochna doing the creep assault? Sounds good. Right. I'm uh, gonna bonus action range and uh hold my action to join in on the group assault. So am I triggering it then? No, Luckner's triggering it. Oh, 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 you can trigger it if Luckner goes first. Does it, it doesn't matter though, does it? No. I'll hold my action and let Luckner trigger it. Cool. Right. cool. Go Luckner. Group assault. Plus start. four to attacks and damage. Make one attack. Epic. Nice. Um, I guess I'll do mine next. Who's up next? Next! Me? Is it me? me? Right? It's... Well, I got skipped. Oh, wait, does it resolve backwards? Or does it, it, doesn't matter. it doesn't matter. matter. All right, go, David. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, God, stupid buttons. Hit it with my shield. Why is that text all bold? Huh? That pisses me off. All right, <laughs> guys, write that down. New ways to annoy. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Go. Now Mal. Mal. And I only it's... do one of mine. Yep, plus four to attack and damage. And, yeah, that's it. No, I did plus money. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I didn't yeah. move my thing. Plus technical. <laughs> Well, hey, time anyway. Huh? Plus for technical? No, no, no. technical. Okay. And then, um, Lucknow. Lucknow. Lucknow will trigger the technical, Lucknow. I guess, because he was doing force. So one d twos. If he hits. Damn, I'm not going to trigger it. Does the chain continue? Nope. I figured. <clears throat> Darren. <clears throat> next. It's Why did I move me away from it? Okay, there we go. How many have used my reaction this round already? Yeah, funny that. Hmm. Imagine resisting force damage. Mm-hmm. 
Does he resist it? Yes, I'm looking yeah. at the numbers getting halved. Damn. RA is, is, a, is mithril. Yes. That's fair. Is it my next? Yep. And three of us in the group as well are doing four Precise, damage. Precise uh, advantage broadsword strike with a plus four. Because I can remember that. One sec. 16s. Yeah, that's enough. That Ritz. And I'm going to add uh, all of my brutal dice. Nice. So it's a that's 48 or something? Your what? 44 more nice. extra dice. You need Fury as well? Yeah. Fury is spider. Well. Yeah. Uh, that's 44 extra. Excel. What is that from? That's part of the base barbarian features. Hey, roll one additional die. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Nice. Very um, good. Here, so I guess I'll do him. That's not even a technical. He's bloodied. There's a critical. It was a tech. Yeah, it's critical. That was a piercing. critical piercing. So he's breached. Okay. It was a crit? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, On a 16? Yeah. Jesus. I did a Be precise yeah. track. That's nasty. Uh, First thing on your turn. So Mal will add a 1d2 because he's triggering the technical. The fact that we use consuming technicals with force, but it's resisting the force is so rough here. <laughs> I assume that's not applying a new technical. No. Yeah, forget. All right, group sold is ended. Estrid yeah, casting yeah. firewall. Yar. Right. Cast over the top of him, so... Yeah, I'm going to do like a circle that sort of half covers him, so he's in the wall. <laughs> um, yes, drop concentration on banish. <laughs> That's probably going to make me, yeah, place a template. Whatever the place fuck. The template That'll do. <laughs> And here, are. amazing damage, but he fails. Halved. Nice. And then I'll use the elixir. I'm not certain I set up a saving throw for it. I think I might have tried. Let's hope. You will try. Nope, I haven't. Set. Oh yes, I have. Nice. Oh, yeah. Failed. And I'll say the right hand side of that is the damage you side. He failed, so he falls unconscious and he is poisoned for eight hours. Oh, what? So he just burns to death? <laughs> no, when he takes damage, he will wake up. Oh, well. So it just gives us another round to do what we just did. <laughs> yeah. well, take, when does he take damage? At the, at, at the end of his at turn. At the end of his turn. The fire. Yeah. So at the end of the next turn. Yeah. It but, means he won't get his turn to fly away. He, he'll, he'll miss a turn, <laughs> is the idea. Yeah. Yeah, when his turn finishes, he'll take damage. Mm -hmm. Roll that damage now? Yep. Yep. Because yeah. his turn is ending, he's asleep, and then at the end of his turn, he takes damage. Gives me five. Was it DA? He, he gets. It's the same same damage that you rolled originally. Yeah. Making sure it's the eights. Getting five. Oof. Not great. Uh, it is a technical. Okay, so he's burning, uh, I guess. Well, he, he was poisoned, actually, so... It... Resists the damage, so... Uh, wait, he was poisoned. Uh, <laughs> let me just double-check the poison technical, sorry. Uh, poison necrotic slashing. And loses advantage of resistance as the poison damage or poison. Yeah, any effect that causes poisoned... Um... So that technical doesn't really matter for this. Yeah. Uh, does he no, take sorry, double fires. the damage for being both inside the wall and on the damaging no. side of the wall? No, sorry, poison doesn't affect. I thought poison went into fire. For some you take double psychic damage for being That's both nice. stupid and annoying. I mean, or... sure, if it means he gets the damage, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, at the end of that, it goes to uh, Trisk's turn. Um, prepare next to group go? assault time. Um, I will be joining in the group assault this time, so. One of Luck, no, or Mal probably don't doesn't join in. Um, I'm tempted not to, and just use Fireball instead of using Force. Oh, so to fire as well. Never mind. 
Fuck it. Resistant <laughs> to basically everything, mate. Yeah. You could try and restrain him. Will do technical damage or not? Say again. Never mind. Which technical would it be doing? What do you mean, which technical? It would be triggering off the fire technical, so it would have done an extra D8 cold damage. The breached technical. It does automatically apply the next level of technical, though, because it's Ray of Frost, so he is now at two times damage technical on a Frigid. Apologies, I had people calling Unless he was resisting. And that's Actually, that doesn't matter. That goes through breached. resisting, doesn't it? Yeah, automatic application. Trillion engine. Anyway. Uh, prepare a group assault, I guess. If you fire, if you fire damage, you will get double the damage. Technical. I guess screen. I can just use firebolt then instead. Sure. Yeah. Or whatever high level fire you've got. Um. So if I'm casting a fire spell, it's a uh, scorching ray. Ooh. Right. Mm -hmm. just like. Hey, I can Why do fireball. I can do lightning damage this close. What? I only have two that have spell slots, mate. I'm half caster. Yeah. Are you out of them? Yes, I used both fireballs. Okay, cool. So fireball, so fire bolt would be two d ten, whereas scorching will be two d six. Sure. So no worries, fire yeah. bolt then. Okay, and it's resist this. and if it hits, it's doubled. Hmm. So an extra two d ten. Well, hey. Not quite another. Two. Well, it could be something order damage, then it would have technical. <laughs> so. Technical chain is over. Yeah. Uh, this is fun. All right. Time like starts the. Thanks, Athlan. <laughs> Athlan is a valuable member of this. Game. I will hold my action to join in on the group. Oh yeah, so. he gave me high um high fucking AC. Not AC. That thing. Do whatever damage you you can, Estrid. Um. Cool. Guiding bolt, something like that. I do not have guiding bolt for the like. Fourth I know, time. but you've got. <laughs> It's a good spell, and you got minor, minor miracle. I don't know. I do not. Sorry, because as before, I've used them both. <laughs> nah, I'm but, never wrong. <laughs> but I do have lightning Sad breath, dog. so I'm gonna lightning breath the fuck out of this guy. Even though it doesn't do much damage. It might technical. Dark line. Unless he's. Unless sure, he's place well. Yeah, that'll do. Pew. Uh, yep. Wow. Nine. Save. Oh, yeah. It does take nine lightning, though. And that isn't a technical. Ooh. Um, that's not the right thing, Matt. And I'm going to back up again. And that's the end turn button. I found it. All right. I'm readying my action to join in on the group assault. Ooh. Yes. And so Malin. I am joining in, but Lochner is not, correct? No, nah, yeah. You join in as well, because Sandor didn't this time. So both join in. Yeah, cool. I'm joining in. Lochner is true. just it. start doing the group assault from there? Cool. Yep. <laughs> so Lochner goes first, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Good one, Lochner. Mal, you can go next, I suppose. Does he have a... No, he doesn't have a technique. Do you want to go next, Mel? Yeah, I just am doing this. And spell. plus four to attack and damage. Nice. nice. Cool. Uh, I'll go next. Okay. Uh, actually, you go next because you can. No, are you doing bludgeoning? Or? I'm going to shield strike, yeah. Uh, I can't set that. Oh, actually, I can. I can set that up. I'll go next, and I'll do a Voltaic Shot as my okay. part of my attack action. So attack, plus four to hit. Cool. That's going to be a hit. I won't roll Bardic Inspiration. Um, so 1d6 from Voltaic, and I'll add my 1d6 from... 
Um, <sighs> sneak attack as well. If I roll above a six on the Voltaic before, I don't. So he is not Voltaic, sadly. Okay. Sorry, dude. Nice. No Tried to lightning him. All right, and I will shield strike the guy. Normal, it's take and shot it's got a, I'm going to make it precise. It's got a crit range of 16. Notice oh. your text is still all bold. What? That's a 15, so it's a normal hit. Bonk. Nice. Okay, Lachna, you're up. I'm not seeing any bold text. I'm very confused. All the text in your shield strike description is bold. It doesn't. It's yeah, not. Um, doesn't look super bold. But if you compare it to other, right. yes. uh, the description was closed. I didn't see that. Imagine closing descriptions. It's closed by. Come on, Lachnus. No. Oh, uh, now you're up. It's not actually bold. It's just a different. Eldritch player. Wait, what's the? Why is his attack Ooh, roll so nice. nice? So for me, for some reason, small it's ranges attack using X instead of int. Is there any uh, technicals? Oh yeah, no. I was using his. What the fuck? No yeah, technicals. Why is that not set to default? Oh, yes. is that enough? Is he dead? Nice. Oh. Well done, team. Nice. Ooh, great success. You. Only one the other of one, them got away. Now the other one swoops back and kills us all. <laughs> well, that was pretty bloody flippin' successful. That would be a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it only oh. took us nearly four hours. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the D and D party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to be fair, it was fl it was long. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think we spent like a solid. 40 minutes. I mean, we essentially did hour, two and a half different combats. Yeah. I'm yeah. removing your gloom. It's unsightly. Yes, thank you. I have not had... It, it's not been on my screen the entire time. It's That's because you can see through it. Oh, fair enough. I mean, it's pleasant, it's pleasant. It's pleasant. It makes no, it hard to see what the distance is, though. I just have to hover <laughs> to see whether they're... Really just like, what do you mean? Yeah. How fucked is the contents of my tent? Uh, pretty absolutely fucked, yeah. <laughs> Anything <laughs> flammable was... Yep. Inflamed. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot of tools. Yeah. We gotta say like, though. So gotta this, say, kind of overall, really good, really good effort there. We controlled that fight pretty well. <clears throat> I, I like go over and I clap when we click on the back. And I'm like, well, oh, fuck. You just For a moment you do that, that and frost accumulates all over your palm. Okay. okay. And then it like fades away. And I'm like, oh. I'm gonna walk up <laughs> to uh Gonna walk up to Sandor and yeah, you haven't seen this power armor before. <laughs> put my hand out and be like, "I guess in some ways you might owe us a favor." <laughs> I must say the help was quite appreciated there. I thought it was now. Fun. What do two mithril inquisitors have to do with you? You may note my armor is made of steel, for starters. Steel <laughs> checks around at all of us. Steel, uh... I've not seen them chase down people for a set of steel armor alone. Normally they go after larger targets than just that. I look, look around at the party like, I feel like we get away with a lot more than just steel armor. We are <laughs> sanctioned mercenaries. Yeah, that is now. We get away with more than steel. We did. Um... Um, I'm going to flip a coin to Karnak, a uh, particular coin that has some certain eyes scratched out, and say this might also have something to do with it. Uh, I'll. I'll... I look down, I look up, and I'm like, hmm, I think you'll fit in. <laughs> and I throw, <laughs> throw it back to you. I look well, puzzled at both of you. <clears throat> now, I where did you, where did you find that coin? Was given it and told to head to the north to meet some like-minded individuals. Well, Hang very on. interesting. Were you at the inn last say. night? No. <laughs> we have... Uh, we have we're on that same same road, though, in a much less conspicuous manner. I mean, um, I've been trying to be inconspicuous. Yeah, you so may I, notice the skies when you came across me initially. 
we we yeah, found more out armor so you can see we're actually a drugger. Yeah. We um we've we've found that the best way to avoid attention is to become useful to the scale. So yeah, I'm gonna completing delete. mercenary tasks for yeah. them, earning gold and allowing and being allowed to travel the land relatively freely and unscathed has served us quite well. Meanwhile, we are making our way to the same destination as you, I believe. Well, if we're heading the same direction, I might appreciate some companionship on the journey. I find myself fairly lacking in equipment now. It just is to tend. <laughs> you just yeah. think over, you see on Vic, like, he's just got his short sword out, and he's just hacking away at like the grass to get to a path. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just turn back around. <laughs> yeah, well, sorry about that, but... Like, um... We have silence tent still. No. You, you can, can sleep in the uh, cart. Thing around. You can sleep in the cart. Or actually, yeah, we've we got double tents, tents, don't we? Right? We've got double tents. And to be fair, we're oh, not... We have, uh, we have a spare bedroll. We're not yes. far from uh, yeah, the next don't... town that we're heading to, so... so. Unless we got rid of it and, like, when I wasn't checking. Worst case, we can always so pick something up. One. We should have enough space if one of us keeps watch and then swaps into sleeper. Well, perhaps, um... You know, know given time, given his uh, loss of property, maybe we could uh, split out some of our, you know, when we get to the next town as compensation. Just doing my job as treasurer. We saved his life. And each day, yeah, but we also I burned all this stuff. One of those you know? sets of mithril full place. And when given some time and resources, I could upgrade it into another set of special armor that could allow me to do other things. Well, I know Estrid here uh, has been having her eye on a mithril set for a while, so you'll have oh, to find uh, out for... It's a good sense. thing there's two, but um, yeah, we'll have an investigate, but I'd, I'd certainly like dibs on at least one of them. You check back when Viklik has made two feet of progress. <laughs> Pretty good. Um, yeah, in the Can meantime... Can you not just fly in on Viklik and grab the stuff? I would have to drag it out. This is faster. I'll go help with so wait, did, did we actually... We could take like, trips, couldn't we? Did we actually introduce ourselves yet? Like, no. name-wise? I guess oh, while really? they're off doing that, I'll just be like, anyway, I'm Estrid, and just like point around at everyone and... Hello. Good day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're... Hello, um, hello to you. We go by the mercenary name of Sigurd's Grammar, and um... Are any of the name words in Sigurd's Grammar anything, Jimmy? Make a history check. Um... So. I guess... Ooh. You... Oh, might have heard the name before, in and around where you're from, but you're not sure if it was just, you know... Yeah. It's just a name. Some people have shared the same name. Could have been. Could have been anyone. Mm. Nothing. Nothing sticks out to you. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I take it you and a uh, colleague Carnlake here have a similar goal in terms of your Would destination. So I guess if you're sticking with us, um, you're more than welcome to be. Part of us for a little bit, if you're willing to help out and such. Obviously, you we do. Uh, <laughs> we we'll probably self. think you might need to be registered, though, if you're uh, officially working with us. I don't know if that'll cause any red flags or anything. You'll probably but... want a different name to be registered under. Yes. If they know who you are. So your disguise do work pretty well. So. I was a different name last session, but I've already forgotten what it was. They just gave the description when they were asking about this one, right? Yeah, they knew you was Virga. How many of your kind are there around here? Can't be that many of us. Most have been pursued somewhat just for being Drogo, to be honest, since hometown I'm just concerned that if, if that greater Wyvern does have any way of communicating to its fellows, that oh. knowledge of a Virga and a Doc Alpha is not a very good yeah, we know that Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> I pull my little drekken out. <laughs> do you think if I ask our uh, other friend here, would he? Do you think he'd know if 
Why even? Or do do we even have? Can I like do a check if I know, and then maybe think about asking him? Oh, uh, if Wivens can like communicate with. Uh, make an Arcana check. What? Why is it giving me Luke Pelkin? Arcana. Well, this is going to be an amazing roll. You never know. Oh, uh, can I still use that bardic inspiration? <laughs> yeah. Sure, why not? <laughs> Come on. Did they uh, even add it? Four. Jeez. I mean... You don't know of any examples, but, like, you have a small dragon that you can mentally talk to. Mm. Who's to say you couldn't do the same with a big one? Maybe? Hmm. Maybe? Fair yeah, enough. No. Well, I might, uh, depending on what you guys think, do you, do you think it's a good idea to be like, hey, do you know much about Mithril Inquisitors and their fucking women? What's the deal? Maybe not asking things? Mithril Inquisitors specifically, but... We could um, test Lochner. We could ask Lochner first, too. Hello. Hello. Can we ask him what he um knows, just like generally about Wyverns intelligence? Uh, Wyverns. Well, I mean, do you they're wanna... pretty smart, especially the great Wyverns. But um, as far as communication, unless there's some sort of, you know, a spell like uh, Khan like sometimes does to talk to the wildlife, I don't think they have any innate ability to do so. That said, we are also talking about Mithra Inquisitors from uh, Bethany. Mm. Famously full of mages, so... Well, let's hope that dragon don't remember our faces very well. I'll put well, my I'm dragon phone how, back. <laughs> quite impressed with how well that essence of ether worked. I might have to make some... Yeah, more. that was sick. Like also, mention... I'm learning there are quite a few different ruined items in this loot pile. People haven't actually looked at the loot pile at all. No, not yet. I'm waiting. I I want to be... to I'm waiting for it to get close enough. I'm assuming time is passing here while we're doing this discussion. Um, I will also go over and have a look at the dead women. I was about to what, do is, the same, uh, yeah. what is the requirements to strip it for parts? <laughs> parts? <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. You need to do a this uh, mechanic. This a zoo, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Need to do a mechanics <laughs> check there. Oh, yeah, I also uh, chopped the no, no, look. Um, I can either do you, it or so help you, you were, do it. You, you were not calling Vessis? Uh, no. I uh, I put my wyvern phone away. Back in my <laughs> bag. Fair and enough. Uh, that before he was you... travelling with a Mithril Inquisitor previously. So yeah, he may well oh, have he was too. Knowledge, but mm. we can... Are you thinking you can't sub it sus if we ask that question? Yeah. Hey, Matthew. Only if you say it in a sussy way. You know how you want Mithril? Yes, Caleb. Only <laughs> thought is if you're already at attunement, maybe don't take the one that's already got runes on it. And I would like to see what um, the runes do. Before... I'm yet to investigate what they are, so... There's basically a full plate. Mm. And a full yeah, plate with runes. Full plate, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. Uh, regular weaving... But like, if I could actually make some funky armor with Mithril full plate, um, that's something that would be incredibly so, good. So, unfortunately, a regular weaven does not meet the uh, CR requirements for any special properties on their hides. Shame. Mm. Yeah, he's just a small, small lad. Not even uh, any fancy scales. So these would be fancy looking scales. But they don't yeah, do anything. If we killed the L, the greater one, we would have gotten resistant scales then, probably. Damn. This one's scales yeah. are soft. But if you remember the when we killed the the elder withens, we got scales that gave plus one to armor. Yeah, tough so they were never going to be quite as good as those ones. Oh. Either way, I turn back to the group and looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. This is I don't cool. know. If... That is true. Oh, yeah, they would have. They do have exotic meat. Oh, that's exciting. Is, is that rare? Uncommon meat. Uncommon, okay. Um, that's good. Check for harvesting that. Uh, so this, if you're just going to, uh, like, dress it for meat, then it's just the standard survival check. It is a 13, because 
10 plus 3 for harvesting difficulty of uncommon meat. Uh, uh, it's nature it's or survival. And there was no essences or anything on it, was there? No. Do we want to get the scales? We, there's no real point in getting the scales other than to sell them. They're not, uh, but because um, they all they are is essentially hide. I'll take a couple. I'll take you, a what, couple. Did you say sorry? Instinct says pass, but just because I can take, take a couple. I mean, of when you're when you're like butchering it, you get hides. Okay. Like, I'm just thinking about the sus aspect of having meatable scales with us as well. Yeah, that's fair. I'll take a couple. Yeah, you can take some as like a little memento. Just when I dress up my next set of armor, I'll make like little little scale shoulder pads over the top of the metal. Yeah. So aside from Esther and myself, is anyone else actually wanting any of these pieces of armor? I haven't had a look yet. Just the fact that metal four plate. Does anyone else actually care for that? Uh, runes care about that moved. I don't care about. That. I just care about the runes. Yeah, I, I don't mind about that part. That can get moved pretty easily. Yeah. We'll yeah, so sort out the runes. You want to help we'll, me, and I'll yeah. and we can together. Yeah. So, what what's your survival? Plus seven. Seven. Cool. Yeah. So I'll I'll help you. Um. You. I helped. Cool. Success. Sick. You get four d twelve uncommon meat and three d six mithril wyvern scales. 16 uncommon meat and 8 wyvern scales. And, uh, what are you doing that? Gotta plot it and put it The wyvern scales somewhere, I'll, I'll be cool. in on them. Mm -hmm. And I guess if we're done with that, make our way over. Take an hour or something like that. <laughs> make our way behind who was cutting through. Vicklick. Vicklick, yep, it. cool. Oh, you made it all the way through? After one hour <laughs> from the harvesting, at What's this in point here, it would be easier to carry the mules out. Grand oh, Gort, damn, yes, that looks good. What's the amulet? Uh, the Grand Gort sounds like one for the only person left who gets a massive expanded crit range. Yeah, consistently. Sounds like an Olympic League rune. Yes. <laughs> I can get up to sixteens if I spend spell slots. Yeah, you can just on... with a free feature. David, what would we put it on for you? For Gort, we could put it on a backup weapon. Because you're Why would it not be in your main weapon? I mean, because it does hate... its own necrotic damage. Just going to say, I hate whenever any of the runes go on, like, just backups. If they're not being Why used, would it's it like... not go on your own main weapon? Sorry? Uh, just because of the damage types, but we could always put it on the main weapon. Why? The, what's wrong with the damage types? Because then there's three damage types instead of... It's I mean, kind of sketchy, but like it's only on crits though, and the idea is yeah. that when you crit, yeah, it's... I'm already technically something else, which is yes. So it's just free damage on your crits. Right. -o. Also, yeah, I mean, I can go on my short sword then. That's fine. On the topic of spare equipment and stuff or stuff for runes, um, Dallas, if you're not already aware, or are anyone else anyway as well, mm. um, how we've ruled it with my armor stuff for runes, um, the gauntlet counts as part of the armor. And so applying runes would to the armor would be a weapon or armor chosen when applied. So the gauntlet, despite being a small lift weapon normally, would have up to six slots of runes. And those are runes would be applicable in main range or melee fights with the one weapon. Which is quite convenient for getting max use out Can of runes. Put your item, that in the, the thingy in the chat. And there's a, there's, there's three grand runes really. here. Four grand runes here, that's a lot. And a greater. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't really put my armor in the chat, Dallas, because it's there's a feature that gives the armor, and then my upgrades go onto the armor, which apply things to it. Basically, his weapon is part of his armor, so it has all the slots of armor, and he has a special like upgrade feature that means he can use his gauntlet to make ranged attacks as well. Yeah. Like what I'd want to be doing at some probably. I think is we've like... lost him. He's frozen. <laughs> I, ideally, for slightly like mid to longer term, within like Not my breeder. when funding would occur, would be like make a second set of armor using the Mythical Four Blade plus added required cost to have a fully combat set of armor and then the generic one and then put runes onto the combat set. Because the current set of armor has a few added combat things as well, so it's more of a generic one. 
We started saying nerdy stuff and he just unplugged his computer. <laughs> <laughs> That's spell spell that. It's cool too. Yeah, so I'm pretty fine with just a regular... Un... Yeah, I, I don't really care for those... Um, runes. I mean, I like the um one that cares about inch, but not the wisdom one. <laughs> but yeah. like, yeah, worth looking at what they uh, do in general. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're not can... really useful for me. Whose responsibility will it be to post what these runes do in chat? I mean, we'll have to learn them first, but... I mean, does it take... How long does it take Mel to learn a rune? I mean, we'd both want to learn the runes, but... Well, let's find out. Mel, how long does it take? An hour Mel's of hour study. <laughs> cool. Well, I did unplug like... his computer. <laughs> So how Dude, many what the fuck is this guy doing with his life? <laughs> so there's what, five runes here? Have you guys spent dead night today? We were gonna gather the, um... We what, gather nine, the poisons. ten o'clock? Well, people wanna do that, and then Mal and I spend five hours studying these runes. So yeah, we've both learned. Well, yeah, we gotta just move slightly to the poisons, I think. It was the same hex, but yeah. <laughs> And then we want to... Was that all of our movement today? To get to here? Yes, this was the last X of movement. So I don't really want to... I guess, fine. The so it take more than a day for the women to get reinforcements, hopefully. Or do we I want to... South, you'd hope so. But... Or do we want to push on for two hours? Don't mind. Not as well. Sleep off whatever effects it gives anyway. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. If um, yeah, DM can. Uh, we're pretty done here. If we want to say we move to where the poison reagents are, harvest the poison reagents, and while we do that, um, Sandor and Mal learn the runes. I'm adding the runes in in the directory. Beautiful. Estrid was our gatherer, wasn't she? She's got herbalism kit to you. No. No, but you have the highest wisdom, don't you? I do have high wisdom. What's your wisdom? Plenty. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Yeah, you do wisdom. Do you want us just to do the rolls for uh, poison DM? Yeah. So just roll a wisdom check with no proficiency bonus or anything. Ability check. Normal. Not... Yeah. 23, excellent. We're on the fabled gathering chart. Not so me. we're going to spend eight hours here, I assume. I believe that is the end result. Um, so... Um, yeah, so you just roll a, another d20 with no modifier. For the first two hours. Or d20... No modifier. Cool, that's 2d10 rare reagents. I'll note this down, don't roll that yet, we'll do it at the end. Uh, roll another d20. 16, another 2d10 rare. Hope you like making difficult poisons. Yep, I do. Um, yeah, another... D20. Another one. Just getting better. 2d6. Very rare. I mean, while we're on this table, we might as well just get as many as we can. We can always get uncommons <laughs> later, right? Yeah. So, one more d20. <laughs> hmm. 8. 3d8. Unscarved. Uh, Grand Gort. Okay, so we have... Uh, 
4d10 plus 3d8 rare. Um, I'm probably going to keep track of runes in my journal that I've learnt separately from the ones that we've got access to completely. Fair enough. Just to keep that simple. Okay, Quartermaster, can you add that? 36 rare and 9 very rare. <laughs> Please miss essences. So it's 36 rare. Oh my god, that's so much money. <laughs> How many very rare, sorry? Nine. Okay. Fucking hell. We have 38 rare poisonous reagents and 20 r very rares. Can make some can make some poisons with those. I'll have to get on that this weekend. Yeah. Good lord. My brain hurts. <laughs> okay. Do we want to call it there? We'll be camping that night. Set up camp near the reagent site. Uh, do we want to resolve the like? start of camp actions or what would um, those be just like can i use my further downtime to learn three more runes if you have crabs on things just uh, kind of uh, backed up would you like the grand aula rune from me sure. you can have um bloth on my weapon oh what uh, you it's just a basic i believe lesser. that's um, what's another rune that we've got already carved um there's esther's yeah. tattoo all the new runes should be in the directory visible now. Tattoo? What? Your tattoo that you consistently forget you have. Yes. Tattoo D's. I actually remembered um, I have it I today, but I didn't take damage. We oh. didn't take damage. Uh, I took all. two last session. I took a little bit of damage, but I healed it. Fucking hell, boys. <laughs> like I said, we, we did pretty, pretty good control that. Even so, it took, like, it took like eight rounds to kill that dude. <laughs> That he was really ridiculous. just would not go down. He was just grappled, and we were just fucking peppering. <laughs> he was still just staying up. Like the guy rolls, is built or... different. No, he kept like reviving, strong. sort of thing. Every time we'd hit him, he he'd go down. He had a feature where he yeah. could spend his resources to heal every time he hit zero, and he had a lot of those resource dice because he was reasonably high level. I was like, what, fifteen? Fully rested. We reckon like fifteenth level. Thirteen. I think 13 is the minimum level he could have been for 4th level arts. Yeah. It's, a, it's pretty, pretty powerful. <laughs> and Vicky just fucking chokeholded him to death. <laughs> it was beautiful. Mate, mate, I want you to know how fucking close we were to losing it all in the middle. Yeah? With the 23-23? That... Yeah, that, that would have been it. That would, he would have just had like all the turns to just keep fucking trucking. It was close. But we did well. I mean, we had double disadvantage on these checks and you had advantage so he okay. was the, the double disadvantage basically cancelled out his his um extra benefits I guess, yeah us. so it was yeah it was a straight disadvantage versus advantage roll pretty much and we 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 pretty much just wrecked Millicent Millicent Melisandre as well. Mm. You basically alpha damaged the shit out of Melisandre. So. <laughs> yeah, my first turn damage now that I've actually fucking made a checklist of what I should add to my first turn damage is pretty pretty crazy. Whose rune was Gort? Gort's one of the ones we got. Agda. In. Oh, right. Yeah, the rune of the cycle. Mm. Um, Fionn? Is that Freya's? Yep. Um, what else did we get? Yeah, this is my little checklist. Alright. You know, the fun bit actually if we don't resolve any more rest stuff is that i literally don't have to do any more work as quartermaster for for resource consumption we just gain stuff uh 
let me put the rare materials we got in the cart for the food. The so food was uncommon, just, yeah. There was uncommon meat and some scales. Man, that's not even a long checklist. What do you mean? <laughs> How much uncommon meat was it again? Was... Mark was a big one looking at that and being like, oh yeah. If I do that against my favorite foe, which I can set with quick draw if I hit. Yeah, the quick draw being part of it was big. <clears throat> so, hang on. Damn it, I lost Do you have sn uh, okay, second level okay. art slots or no? No. Is it multi-classed? No, I don't. The, the you reason... should fix that. Second level arts are pretty cool, especially some of the stuff you can I, I need like three more levels in Ranger before I get second level arts. What is that armor part of the Grand Court? Goodness. And I want some big HP. I'm not opposed. I don't know I want to hey. rune one of those Grand Runes on my armor. And, because I, I don't want to use the Eyeball's Chain anymore. That's fair. Maybe we should He's addicted to having my HP. <laughs> <laughs> I want all the benefits and none of the downsides. How much... Which roll was it? Who actually resolved how much meat we got? Uh, was it the 4 uh, Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay, 16, 16 pounds of uncommon meat. And you've got the scales, right? But it was a... 3 and 8. Mmm, yeah. yummy yeah. gamey wyvern meat. I must say, that grant, um, we have scales, weapon rune, so. adding 2d6 as a 7 instance of force damage, is very cool. Yeah, that's interesting. What is... Hold on. I sh... For the sequencing with technicals, I assume the added force goes after the base weapon attack? Yep. Just so, thinking about technical things. I mean, I know you don't like to sort of predict or uh, have too many thoughts in mind about what might happen in a fight, but what, what, was, what were your pre-fight thoughts for that one, Dean? Uh... No thoughts. Praise. Hey, do you... <laughs> Praise. Please um... actually work as a team. Please actually work as a team. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <sighs> like, I read your plan, so I pretty much knew what was what, and I was like, yeah, that's a pretty good plan. If that works, then they will have basically locked this guy down mm. until he starts, you know, having to spend his resources to stay up. How many um, guys did he have, by the way, to stay up with? Uh, he had 15 Valor. Jesus. Yeah. So much. That's <laughs> a deal to get through. Well, normally by the time you hit zero hit points, uh, in a fight, you've spent someone's smites and stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Not today. I'm... I'm so happy that the decision I made when we first, when I first built that character, like, you know what? Let's go for the strangle. That's kind of a cool little aesthetic. We'll put that in the back pocket in case I ever need it. Has finally come around to work out for us. Yeah, it was just a very cool moment. I mean, it's they cool. they were gonna they were gonna try and get out of there at low HP, but they did not get the chance. Yeah. Uh, it was supposed to be. Uh, it was a it was a, a tough fight, mm. and. That's why it has very good loot. Yay! Uh, and yeah, it handled very well. There were yeah, there was like two instances of it being very close to us, just losing the thing we had going. First, when Melisander used hold person on me and it just locked me in place, and second, when um, we tied on the tied on the <laughs> grapple checks. Yeah, when she cast it, hold person, I was like, oh, we're done. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit spooked for that part as well. Uh, I was kind I, of impressed how quickly she got down, the... though. Like, her health was quite low quite early. Well, yeah, she's a rogue. Like, she was not meant to be taking hits, but because she was the only, like, active member of the combat that was still free to move and act, it was like, you're the main, you're the main target. Dun, 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 dun. That, was, that was the plan. That was mostly calm, like, just demolishing her, her in one mean, round. Yeah. yeah. Do her thing. I got two crits, even though I forgot to hit the crit button on one of them. <laughs> nice. So it wouldn't have been it would have been more damage. So do we want to sort out what we're doing with this loop between sessions? 
Yeah, just, I think so, because I, I don't have the brain power to really read. I'm going to read them, but I'm not going to make plans. I mean, yeah. Yeah, if, if you're all happy, I'll take one of the armor suits. Yeah, I would like to reserve one of the armor suits like, down the line. But, like, not for an immediate thing, because to do what I'd like to do would require a decent chunk of money, which mm. isn't currently, like, feasible to so, spend on it, but... I'm gonna. On for reference, making a new suit of armor mm. is two thousand cost. But having one that's built entirely for combat would be quite a boon for me for actually fighting. Given the there... versatility of the upgrades in that yeah. system. Yeah. Is there any went info through, on? Like, what a armor would be like the other day. On how much? Say so, like, I definitely wear it for now. But say in the future, if I were to use it to like smelt down and then make an even better set, say mountain plate, how much? Uh, salvaging metals, metals you get like, I believe you get like half, half much back. Yeah. Half, yeah. Maybe I'll just have to have two sets of me. Yeah, to get second, <laughs> second level art slots, I either need two more levels in rogue or three more levels in ranger. Hey guys, you want a hard fight? That's gonna be good for going towards a level up, right? <laughs> <laughs> also, so oh, no. you're saying before it's, was it? it so I needed to be uh, tuned to forge the axe. Forge in two right? hours oh. per item, you get all of its in ingots back. Oh, oh sweet. There you go. Matt. Um, That's good. Every item that has a rune needs to be attuned to. Yeah, sweet. So, so if you want to change that axe, you have to be like unattuned to, I think it was the um, tattoo or something. Or just anything, yeah. I feel like that's, that's annoying because it's just like, like the... I've got the the shield, which I kind of want to keep on. The brooch, I definitely want to keep on more than I want to keep the tattoo on. I mean, the tattoo, like the armor part, is irrelevant in like 95 set of combats. Mm. So you don't need to be attuned to it realistically. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I dig through the cart and pull out one of the amulets of proofs against detection and location and hand it to Sandal. Uh, yes. mm. And Done say, deal. you should probably attune to this. Uh, um, in the cart, one. you said, right? Cool. Yeah. Where's the cart? I do have one yeah. that I don't really need if you want it. Uh, is it just loose in the cart or is it in a. It should be combat? in like the equipment bucket, I think. Mm. Um, so. It is. There's three there, apparently. <laughs> There shouldn't yeah, I don't, be. I don't have one active, but... Oh, you don't have one. There should be two, I think, not oh, three. It's possible that when I like went over oh, and made it out, I and it moved to all of them, but it only shows one in my inventory. So I assume that was fine then. It wasn't actually three. Drag no, one back. Three, never mind. Yeah. Drag. Yeah, uh, we need. Yes, yeah, so there should be two. There should be. Um, yeah, I don't have it equipped in my bag. Elfrida's former one and. Um. Fathom's former one. Cool. Mm. Oh, just to get you started, uh, check the barrel two to the left of that one. There should be some tools. Yeah, get familiar with the barrels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rip my seven toolkits that I had. Um, <laughs> yeah. That was all that was in your backpack, at least. Yeah, so my backpack was seven toolkits, rations, and a bedroll. Look, I, I think, to be fair, that all burning up kind of played well into... What I was mentioning at the start of the thing about let's give you the money because it's now justified. <laughs> oh, sure. we burnt all but your now stuff. Now I have to be like re get toolkits again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you I mean, currently we've got leather working. You know what we can do? Mid -we midweek, I can use my midweek ability and I can make sure there's a bunch of fucking toolkits available at the next town. Good yeah. idea. That sounds like a good plan. Um. Okay. I'm not going to be using any midweek abilities. <laughs> um, allow, allow a one week window to spend throughout yeah. the week. So we need um, click first. I oh yeah, that was the other list. big thing. Was spending that cohesion to swap estrates. Yeah, that was good. That was big. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Really, thank you for that. So, <laughs> um, Mel has rune covers tools. Yeah, mm -hmm. he does. Um, do we have a herbalism kit somewhere? I assume I've got one. Um, woodcarver's tools are in there, smith's tools. Does yeah, Esther have those as a addition, just having her own things? Like, no, she, she, has, 
It's I'll just be... got um, smart alpha smith's tools. Yes. Okay, so that's fine. Um, the other workers' tools are there. Leak for supplies. Don't believe anyone has any. And thieves nope. tools. Uh, do you want to add those to the list, Gold Hand? Calligraphers, Supplies, and Thieves Tools? The Calligraphers, um, we need to actually make gold the... Um, hand or is that... Rock, Wait, so, well. sorry, for buying, or...? Yes. That's for purchasing, yeah. Okay, stuff hold, hold on a sec. Yeah, without those Calligraphers, Supplies, we can't make your um glass goggles. 